10 minutes ago before we started. Uh, if everyone who would join would roll a D8. Uh, I know two of you have already rolled, so. I rolled. Wow, everyone's going for those high numbers. Yeah. That might seven. be good, that might be bad. Yeah, keep in mind that... Joe uh, usually does bad things with high numbers. Yeah, the last few times we've done high numbers, except actually, no, when we did wealth, high numbers were pretty good. Yeah. I did really good. Huh. Oh. Right. So we have five, was six, it, six, seven, eight. Wasn't mine the, the fact that I rolled a high number, the fact that I ended up being in hell first? Yes. So, and you had yeah. nothing. And, uh, high numbers are bad. <laughs> <laughs> you rolled you rolled high and you were in hell first and you had no money. And then the entrance Joe. to hell that uh yes. Did, I, was that able to persuade the uh owl bear turned half human? That was gonna get discussed today. That was gonna get discussed here. today and I forgot what you rolled. He rolled Good. like a twenty one, I, I think. think. Yeah. Yes. I remember that. Alright. It was pretty uh, good. You would have convinced him um, oh boy. to at least wait yeah. until uh, sunset. Yeah. Uh, but he does want to kill something. Okay. Let him kill. He, go he goes with... off in the forest to hunt something. Okay, I'll let him do that. That's fine. I'm going to keep him close eye on my chickens. They're dead. Good idea. Would we have enough time to get a short rest now? How about a long rest? a long rest? Long rest, long rest, long rest. Yes, you would have time to long rest. Yay! Yay spells. I don't oh know God, that I took the damage. Slots. I didn't. Anyone oh, but I get my, I get my, I get the ten oh, points. I get spells, even though I don't have spell slots. So yeah, I'm you got innate abilities. Don't forget Yay, that. Yeah, innate ability spell casting. I get the ten points of healing that I put directly okay. into Lily's ass back. Nestro. <laughs> no. Yes. Everybody who has spells can only oh. use to the, reset their spell slots to basically how many spells they can cast mm. by a long rest. Unless you're a warlock. Okay. Warlocks get their spells back on a short rest. But everybody else is long. Oh, I didn't know about the short rest thing. Yeah. yeah. Warlocks okay. regain all their spell slots on a short or long rest. I Which was very that. helpful on Friday, I might add. Yeah, because I was basically we were doing diving, and it needs a third level spell to recharge the two suits, and I have two Which third level spells. It happens to have two third level spell slots. But here's the funny thing: because it takes them an hour to use up the charge on that thing, I basically have an infinite ability to recharge the suits. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I yeah, just kind of yeah. sit around on the deck. Recharging the suits and doing that, because as long as I don't do any intense activity within the hour, it counts as a short rest. Yeah, I need to quickly get to words where I can actually do third, because otherwise you're gonna have to burn your fourth. But anyway, yeah, for sh long rests, everyone's wounds that wasn't healed all the way is now f full health. You get your hit dice back, everything. Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, you actually only get half your hit dice back on a long rest. Hit dice? So hit... When you take a, when you take a short a rest, you can expend your hit dice. They're, the, they're equivalent to what you roll for health. Um, so, for instance, I'm a paladin. I have a d10. Basically, when you take a short rest, you can heal over that by expending one hit die, or actually you can expend up to your total number of hit dice remaining. Um, and you roll, the, basically you roll the dice that you use to roll for health, and you heal, and you do add your con modifier when rolling for them. By the way, them. is it half, you get half of what you're missing, or half of your total? You get half of your total hit dice back on a long rest. At level oh. four, you would get two hit dice back on a long rest, okay. if you used any of them. Yep. Okay, anyway. I wonder if there was a long rest button somewhere. Not in Fantasy Grounds. Yes, there is. Where? Where is it? Uh, give me one second. Oh, you see, Joe has to hit it. Right. Yes, I do. Oh. Uh... There is one. I mean, I ought to reset myself for that because... Long rest is just... There's two. 
taking the thing, just ticking off things and. All right, so. We've always done it manually. Yep, it's pretty simple to do. You so. can't long mess the entire party. I can't. That's dumb. That really I go, is. Dumb. I have to go into your character sheets and manually select long rest. It's because That's there's stupid. There's a chances of some people not getting long rests after all. That's true. That's fine. But I mean, if everybody gets it, then why can't you just do it for everybody? That but what I'm sense. saying is that you. I'm not saying that they shouldn't have the ability to go in and do it manually. I'm just saying there should also be a party long rest. As an ease, as an ease of. Turns out it's in the party sheet, and Joe could have just hit that button. <laughs> <laughs> you know something? If there's one. I'm gonna. I'm gonna check. <laughs> if there is oh one. God damn it! <laughs> 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 Where's the guest so accurate? Why am I doing this? <laughs> I hate my life. Good job, Bill. Oh. The oh. I button at the bottom left hand corner of the party sheet on the DM screen that says rest. Fucking hell. <laughs> Why am I guessing so accurate? It's weird. No, I was recording for that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Steve, take a d20 damage from Joe. Uh, Oops. Hey, Nick's the one that pointed it out. I was. I was. Anyway. I was taking the damage. I worried my grandmother with that. <laughs> Good job, Joe. You gave the grandmother a uh, that. Oh, she no. hasn't had a heart attack. She had oh, a stroke. stroke. Alright, let's get back to the bear. No. Boop, 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 no bear, uh, bear, 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 bears. Okay, bye. Yay, Aarakocra right. time! Time to go home. Caw caw, sure. motherfuckers. Thunderdome? <laughs> Alright. So, uh, actually, I should rest. Uh, Duke. There we go. Oh, so that one is actually invisible. Does it... Oh, wait, no, there it goes. Wait, what? He forgot a roomie. Yes, I did. Well, she wasn't in, so that's why. Yeah. I thought you were just going to click the party and make sure that everyone got it that way, but I guess with Romy being the only one left. <laughs> yeah. Um. Also, it would do it individually anyway. Would it say each one of them, each name, taking a long yes. rest? Yes. Hmm. All right. If you've already taken one, then you wouldn't need one. Anyways. So, uh... Stuff. And things and things and stuff. Good job, guys. Yes. Indeed. All the stuff and things. Okay. So last week so on Dragon Ball Z... Yes. <laughs> no, just like I didn't know she was gonna say something. No, no, no. That was just a joke of everyone going quiet as soon as you said that. I mean, yeah, probably because they want to hear my my introduction. But there's really nothing else to introduct, though. You guys know what happened last week. Do we? Yeah. <laughs> Killed goblins. You did kill goblins. We rescued an owl bear. Find out that the owl bear's brothers and sisters are dead. Uh, and Necrom turned into uh, some sort of, and, and used for some sort of necromancy, specifically the creation of undead. Yep. Yes. That supposedly left behind uh, bear pelts. So they're naked too. That um, just gonna more like they don't have skin. Like they're just gonna be all bone and muscle. That's gonna look weird. It's gonna, gonna look, look terrifying. Weird. It's gonna look like a zombie owl bear. I think I heard Lily pop in. Hello, oh, Lily. Romy. Hey. Roll with the eight. Sorry, I'm late. We're also giving me seconds to get rolling this down. Oh, oh Romy, want me to roll with the eight for you while you're loading into Fantasy Grounds? Oh, yes, please, love. You Cause... got a seven. What does that mean? The five, I don't know. Six, seven, seven. It means that we're all dead. Joe hasn't okay. told us yet. I'm just typing awesome. that in so I know. Uh, that's a total of... 
What's that a total of? Uh, six and six, six is twelve, six, so that's fourteen. So that twelve and fourteen is thirty-six. No, twenty-six. Plus five would be thirty-one, so it's thirty-nine. Thirty-nine. Yeah, Derek probably had that five minutes ago, Steve. Just yeah, saying. but he he was talking, so I'm like. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Derek is insanely good at mental math. He he, he will have that before anybody else. I'm I'm try. also very good at mental math. I just don't want to do math. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> whoever wants to do math, like willingly. It's just what are Mathematicians. Uh, mathematicians. Leave me alone. Uh, there's so much people make me sick. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Scientists want to do math fairly regularly. I mean, certain certain scientists do. <laughs> Anyways, stuff and I things. Know. Stuff and things, yeah, indeed. Uh, last time things happened, stuff was done. Um, people died. I could have been no, I people didn't about really about die. Me. Goblins I... died. I mean, goblins are people too. No, they're not. <laughs> Goblin right. lives matter. You, you, you no, they don't. <laughs> they really don't. Does anyone care if I'm racist against goblins? Yes, yes. somebody probably. Goblins would. might. But they're not people, so they don't count. <laughs> they are a playable race. They're a playable race, yeah. So, if you want to play a little baby-eating monster, all which we right then totally have. <laughs> That's true. We actually <laughs> ate a baby. Okay. Can we let's, uh, baby? Let's, let's stop with that nonsense. But it's the best nonsense. It's not, though. I mean, it is, but it's not. So, yeah. You ca you guys killed a bunch of uh, goblins. I almost said orcs. Goblins. I mean, what's the difference, really? Once it's bigger. In Lord of the Rings, they actually are the same species. They are. One's just mixed with humans and elves. The other is a pure breed. But you can't guess which one's which. Goblins are pure breeds. Yep. Right, um, in a few seconds, I'm on here now. Good. Great. Yes, I have my notes open. I think I am ready. Fantastic. Oh, yeah, we got a long rest because we successfully persuaded the owl bear. Hooray and for me! Specifically, the owl bear just wanted to hurt things, so he went off into the forest to hunt some, some stuff. Okay. Awesome. So now, so now it's sundown and it's uh or sunset. And would we be able to go into the cover of darkness uh, as it starts stretching out? Uh so as you guys finish your long rest and you wake up from the your rest, the owl bear has returned and is sitting in the middle of the uh the room where you guys need to see. Also, loud noises from a small child. Indeed. Uh, the owlbear seems to be covered in some kind of visceral of some sort. Uh, do you, you refrain from asking, considering he also seems to have uh, retained his form from before, and uh, speaks up and says, I've been watching while all of you sleep. That's not alarming. Uh, I didn't say that in character, I'm just saying that out loud. <laughs> yeah. Indeed. I mean, after four hours, I would have noticed this anyway. Because I would have come out of my trance. Oh, wait, no, I'm a. I forgot I'm not actually an elf. Never mind, I don't have that. You look like one, but you're actually. Look like an elf, but I'm actually an angel. Well, half angel. Albert does uh, speak up and say, after all of you have woken up, I did a little bit of scouting, even though I know you didn't want me going out there. I was able to ascertain that the fortress is, or dwelling, is mostly abandoned. It doesn't seem like they are utilizing the entirety of the dwelling. It seems like they're just mostly centered around one big building in the center of the walled area. So we go from the least populated area, we less pay attention to area, and get in that way, or get 
close enough. That would be the best scenario, yes. Keep in mind, though, this dwelling seems to be able to inhabit the entirety of this forest. And that one raiding party was able to take out me and all of my siblings. Uh, no, quick question out of character. Yes. Where, uh, I believe that Aromi and Anastriana both have horses. Um, that's a great question. I assume you mean, like, where are your horses? Yeah. Yeah. I would say at the edge of the forest, because you wouldn't be able to ride your horse through the forest. Not very efficiently. You'd have to take a slow pace, but at that point you may as well Which, walk. I was going to say, you might as well just walk at that point. And besides, you'd be a big target. Hmm. Horses are a commodity. So that kind of just sort of charge up, we hope, that's right. Uh, more like it's on the main road, and no one really makes raids on the main road, mostly because there are guards going to and from. Okay. You're safe on the main road as long as you don't really uh, trail that much. Yeah. Or have a big enough pay, pay with not enough guards. Yeah. So, the problem here is that once we get in, how are we going to track them little by little so we can take them out group by group rather than one huge force? Well, typically, if you're going to hold down a fortress, but you don't have a full set of numbers to man said fortress properly, you send patrol parties along critical areas like the walls. At least some intersections. It would be advisable that we find that we scout out these uh, patrol patterns and hit them when they're most vulnerable. And not able to alert the other groups. Indeed. So, this room. You're pretty good at sneaking, I would bet. Derek. Derek. My bad, fucking had to mute something because my roommate was <laughs> talking. Well, really loud. Uh, All right. What happened? Uh, Sorry. Yep, I'm good at sneaking. What's up? Um, uh, problem is, you need to get inside to be able to see the patterns of the patrols so we can attack. Well, you could probably spot them along the walls. Well, yeah, I was thinking... we won't be able to see the inside either. Though. We won't be able to see what's on the, the inside, but we need to get. Getting inside is easier because you should be able to get up to the gate without being noticed if you know the if you know the patrol patterns. Basically, you guys are pretty far from the fortress, and you can't really make out much detail from this distance. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we'd have to get That's the problem. Here. Someone has to go and scout enough to see the patrol pattern. Well, I can do that. Just let me get close enough to where it's how close. Like, is the fortress? How close is the tree line to the fortress? That's my question. So like a mile and a half. <laughs> Holy fuck. Yeah. Uh, uh, all right. uh, hold up. How long? That's only a minute. That's not going to help much. Well, if, if we got on top of the tree, at the tree line, fish, I should be able to see that far. Keep, Keep in mind, mind it's night time. Like... Yes, it is, it is night time. And while... Uh, I thought this we did a forest long is also a hundred miles. We did a long rest to get to night time because we want to attack by cover of dark. Well, yeah. that was what the fuck. No, that's actually a decent idea. It's just that uh, it means that long range scouting should have been done beforehand. Yes. Yeah. All right. <sighs> well, I wish I had this information earlier, but I guess we'll go with what we have now. So. All I can think of right now is to try to sneak up to the best of my ability while staying out of sight in the dark while I'm able to see with my fucking dark vision. I also am pretty sneaky if one of them two of us. 
Asgar is a druid, yeah? Yes. You have the ability to turn into animals? Yes. Can you turn into something small and sneaky? Define small. Like Tiny? Mouse size? Probably, yes. Mouse, spider, that kind of thing? That's something that people don't uh, typically this? notice? You can be shaped into almost any form that you have seen before, as long as it's under a CR1. Or a CR1. Uh, it also can't have a climbing speed, or it cannot have a flying swimming speed. Swimming or flying? You, no, no he's level 4, he I can have a swim speed. Oh, can he have swim speed? Oh, okay. No, level 4, he can have a swim speed, he just cannot the have a flying speed. To that, the only exception to that uh, flying speed thing is if you're an insect. I think that, really? I think it might be best if, home... -shape, if you be shape into an in insect, you have a fly speed of one per six seconds. I mean, that must be that. That doesn't sound accurate to me, but okay. It's a home. It's a home rule, house yep. rule that he's putting in. They yep. don't really give accurate descriptions of what insects have for fly speeds. Yeah, you have to base them off of other sorts of things That's that true. they have. Uh. In either case, I would recommend something like actually a spider would probably be the best one to do. Spider. Um. Okay. How long will it take to get to the fortress? You also could From where we are. That too. I could also use pass without trace to help. Pass what? Pass without pass trace. Without trace. That is true. Okay, I could not understand one word when everyone said that. So, Joe, say it again. Pass without a trace. Yeah, that would fucking work. Indeed. Fucking five people said at the same time at different fucking timings. Okay, what? Because you didn't listen, Nick. Anyway, go fuck yourself and <laughs> <laughs> let's continue on. Okay, it's pass without trace only on yourself, or is that what? No, it, it's so on yourself and always. within 30 feet of you. It's an aura of, it's an aura that surrounds you. Of, uh, within 30 feet of you, allies have advantage. No, they get a plus 10 to their stealth roll. Okay. Um, Which would allow all of us to attempt to sneak up because the pass without a trace would compensate for lower numbers a little bit. Yeah. Okay. I this would still would have disadvantage, though. Hooray for heavy armor! Uh, so, shall we go as a group then with pass without trace? Yes. Be, Says Joe. Not the party. The I'm, I'm, I mean, I, I'm f all for it. I'm fine I, with it. I'm okay with that. I'm good to go. So, no, true. you're not going to be on your own freaking good selling and we're all going to get there. Yay. Alrighty then. I mean, back up. Um, if anything Albert goes. Picked up and says, so, we're all going together? Yeah. Indeed. Sounds like a plan. Stick within 30 feet of Chicken Man. Ascar? Do your thing. Let's do it. Ooh, wibbly wobbly, timey wimey. Wow, actually, that's not too bad. That's still a 24 with pass without a trace. Oh no. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Good thing you had that plus 10, Jesus Christ, dude. 17. So wait, what? 25. Oh, jeez! Uh, without a trace adds. 14. Uh, Adds a ten to your uh, stealth roll. Hey, I'm oh, the boss. <laughs> Nick, wow. are you sure that was your stealth roll? That's just a oh, d20. Well, I... Whoops. Add whatever your proficiency or whatever your stuff is to that. Uh, if you're not proficient, it's just d It's same. It's same. It's just the same. I don't have any dex. He has ball. no dex mod, and he doesn't have proficiency in the skill. So yeah, it's yeah, a fourteen total. Right. Holy shit, how did I get one of the highest and I have disadvantage? Because <laughs> luck! Because Nick's bad at dice There's rolls. reasons! This is ridiculous. I thought we... Actually, I just realized, weren't we supposed... 
Aren't we doing uh, stealth rolls in the... Uh, oh, yeah, we were supposed there? to do stealth rolls in the tower. I don't give a shit at this point. <laughs> Everybody do it again! No. No. <laughs> no. Fuck that. He already has a thing. It's not no, as interesting on the video on anyway. The fuck? The owlberry immediately falls on its face. He rolled a oh, nat he one. Oh, yep. He rolled a nat one. I just like everyone to know that my previous roll before this one was a natural twenty. Full swing. No, uh, he does not have disadvantage. Joe just decided to roll a die earlier in the game, and he happened to roll that. Yeah, he rolled before the game started, and he rolled a nat twenty. Yeah, that... Now he's rolled a nat one. This game is fucking extraordinary fucking... opposites. Welcome to the uh... extremes. Welcome to to come up. Dice rolls. He's probably not used to standing as a human. He's like, my legs are noodles. Yay, noodle legs. Well, uh, Don't drag him. Help him up. Can we help him up? Is he able to walk? Uh, for the most part. It seems as though he's not used to walking in human legs, and he's getting quote-unquote tired. Hmm. I don't know why he doesn't want to Okay, that's just... Who's gonna help me drag his ass? Uh, I'm, I'm strong, strong. I will. Okay. I got 17 strength, I think I could also help. Yeah, I have 18, 18 strength. I'll be okay if I All need right. to. I got eight. So whoever is helping the owlbear walk, I want uh, whoever is doing it to make a strength roll. Could it be two, I'll... like one person on one side, the other on the other? I'll take one. Sure. I'll take the other. Okay. Check, sure. Oh, well, I've got Just a strength. strength strength? Strength check. Strength check. Please set up your strength strength plus your proficiency on. Yeah. Okay, so uh, we're rolling. Come on. Off two good stuff. There it goes. It's a nine. What is it? So uh eight. Oh, where do you get eight from? That looks like a six. You said plus proficiency, didn't you? I mean Whatever you get with your strength check. Yeah, you okay, don't get good. proficiency in strength. In, in yeah, like base why, strength no, 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 My uh, brain is. Yeah, I. Because you started spouting something and it's like, okay. So yeah, it's six. So six I have half of So, uh. Varian goes to lift him up on the right side. He's fucking heavy as hell. It's a fucking owl bear, and you get crushed by just the weight of his arm. Mm. Yay, physics! Ah, little help here. Um, I. Well, there yeah, you go. Uh, the person who actually has muscles literally just uses one arm. She has the same strength as Aurora. Uh. So, uh, both of you are able to carry the owlbear just. Uh. Fucking Christ. All right. Did not suspect his frame of human uh, being partly human now. To be After human. a few minutes, the owlbear is able to stand on its own legs. Is able to keep walking. However, how stealthy it is. Uh, all I hear is Katamari Damashii song in my head now. What does huh. an owlbear's bonus to what's an owlbear's bonus to stealth? Because I don't think they have stealth as a skill. They don't. So it'd be their dex. And I don't think they're very dexless because they're, they're big and clunky. Because they're bears. Bear. They're so sticks. fast. Yes. But they're not mobile. Nick. That was... I just said bear. That was... That you was said so there. Joe. No, I thought that was Ascar. That was Ascar. Who said so Joe? Wow, the owl bear with a nat one would have had a total of twelve for his stealth roll. That's bad. Lucky? Were you saying what? something? You were Not you... that I remember. <laughs> so am I just hearing things? And no, no you. I heard it too. Someone, no. someone no, no, wanted. No. I heard the Sojo too. 
Someone said I, so I, though. Congrats. Someone said so Thank though, you. but then they obviously forgot what they were going to say or ask him. So let's just move on. All right. Cool. Anyways, <laughs> that was weird. So um, Joe. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> can I send one chicken ahead? Uh, yes, you can. <laughs> and yes, you may do the thing. Okay. Oh, More what? Things? More things? He's gonna play with his eggs. No. No, not his eggs. So, I need uh, someone. I need to to... Which one are you using? Gustav. You're using Gustav. So, uh, the rooster chicken, uh, hops up from beside, uh, Askar, and, uh, runs forward faster than you guys expected, and goes ahead of the group by maybe five, six hundred feet, and, uh, seems to be looking out in front of you guys, which, it, it's only five or six hundred feet away, so, it's not unvis- uninvisible to you guys, and you can easily see it. Especially because a lot of you have dark vision. Wait, you said it's five to six hundred feet away? I'm dumb. Shut up. Did you mean fifty <laughs> to sixty? I did mean fifty to sixty. Okay. No, because I was like, wait a minute, if we could see five to six hundred feet away from us, we only really need to get to like some larger yeah, rock. You guys will be able to see forever. No. Uh yeah, it's fifty to sixty feet away. Okay, quick question. Does anyone in the group not have dark vision? Me. 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 Wait, no, wait a minute. Yes, you no, do. Wait, You're I'm fucking the... Asimar. I keep thinking Asimars don't have that. Yeah, I have. You don't have dark vision as Asimar. Uh, Asgar, you technically would, but only in, in this mode. Okay. Because I'm pretty sure... Yeah, most birds have... Uh, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna point something out though that yeah. is from real life because I've actually helped raise chickens. Chickens are fucking blind in the dark. They have no hey, ability to hey, see in the hey, dark. Hey, 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 Steve. Hey, Just shut we're up. Using, we're using stats from other birds. I'm sure. There, I'm, there's I, no D and D stats for chickens. I know. <laughs> I'm just pointing out that if you wanted to be a little bit realistic. Chickens are fucking blind in the dark. Also, I will remind you, this is not a normal chicken. Sure, I know, I get it. It's not a normal chicken. I'm not. I'm in no way saying that you should not give it dark vision if you want to give it dark vision. I was just pointing out that a normal chicken is, in like, incapable of seeing in the dark. Good to know. Random factoid number three of the day. Yeah, we've had a number of those, haven't we? We have. Let's stop with them now. We were so, talking about snakes forward. earlier. I could give you a factoid about them. Going forward, I would assume that you, you keep the chicken within vision of you and the chicken able to see all of you. Yes. Okay. Sure, why not? Uh, I am going to ask you to make a perception check with said chicken. We, I told you what his uh, passive perception is, right? No. Okay. But I can look up. Look it up. Uh, literally just look up the stats for the eagle and use those. Didn't you say a vulture? Uh, yes, vulture. That one. One of the big birds of prey. If you have the monster manual. Fantastic. So, loaded. Uh, I'll I'll keep that in mind. Uh, I'm just gonna say this now. Your chicken does not need to make a stealth roll. <laughs> it's fucking chicken. Small. It's small fucking running. Is it? Isn't it wearing armor? It is yes. wearing armor, but it's leather on. So it's not really impeding it at all. No, I'm just saying that that would be an odd sight to see. <laughs> yes, but it's not going to go out in the open. Fair. Like, is that a fucking chicken? Yeah. Why is so. it wearing leather armor? Hmm. <laughs> Who put armor on a chicken? There's he some strange it. villagers, man. There's some strange villagers. Or it might have been Bob. God you know, damn it, Bob. Bob. <laughs> Where is oh, Bob? Anyways. So, 
about how how close do you guys want to get to the fortress before you start like making perception checks and stuff? I'd say pretty close. Uh, pretty much whenever I would be able to see the top of the wall, I would like to start looking for any sorts of patrols. So you'd have to be within sixty about... feet. Yeah. Well, no, because patrols would have lights. Fair. They need torches to be able to see. Um, I I would say roughly 200, 250 feet. R pretty close, but not on the wall kind of. Right. Thing. Uh, but as as you guys actually do get closer, uh, you notice that the wall facing this direction is not as as you would expect, but it is heavily in vegetation. Mostly into the You're getting kind of choppy a... there, Joe. Am I getting choppy? Not for me. Not for me. Might just be for you, Steve. Uh, it seems like there was a couple spikes then. Mm, I don't know. I was shooting the cart, so it might have been that. No, it was literally his voice was going robotic. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to close off my browser and see if that works. Okay. Well, on the majority of the wall facing you guys, there is heavy coating of moss and other vegetation and vines and stuff. There aren't trees next to the wall. Uh, there is evidence of large amounts of vegetation and moss as well. Huh. Okay, so pick them up. There are no paths along this wall. Okay. Any open inside doors is just covered in vegetation. You can't see any from this distance. Hmm. Keep in mind, this wall is a mile wide. Roughly. Do we have any idea as to how thick it might be? And it hmm. would be pretty thick for something this big. Well, roughly it's about 40 to 50 feet tall, and those walls, on average, are about 6 to 10 feet thickness, depending on where or whoever made them. Okay. So, we can see if the patrols, or do we have to uh, make a perception check to see like the pattern? Make a perception check. Yeah, that's what I was waiting for because I've been looking for that. Mm -hmm. We all are make we a all, perception check. People who are looking for the patrols. So if you're all looking for patrols, you can all. But I not. see a wall. <laughs> <laughs> I did no, no better. That's not true. You did two better. Would it be disadvantage because of night? Uh, no. For the, okay. Uh, for those that don't have the ability to see in the dark, technically. They're where they're holding torches. Oh yeah, that's right. They're holding torches, so you're looking for the light. Yeah. Uh, so you do notice along the wall there are two or three lights. You can't really tell because some of them seem to converge at certain points. Um. Either two or three, maybe four. Is there, are we able to tell that it's like one person? Just at one torch, or is there a group of people that eat? So you can't. Torch? You can't clearly make it out. You wouldn't be able to make that out. You're looking for the lights that tell you a patrol of some sort is going by Keep in, in this mind, area. This is this is forty to fifty feet tall. You wouldn't be able to see them walking on the walls. Not unless they look wow. over and down to your in your location anyway, which yeah. they probably wouldn't. I could use spider climb on someone, but I we mean, would we could lose. Use that or you could change into a spider and climb up the wall that way and then i also have a grappling finish. hook that i've decided to buy before we started yeah because that's totally stealthy i mean fair it's an option it's not necessarily stealthy but if you wait for a break in the patrols then they wouldn't really notice yeah exactly so, so... i will say one thing uh having found the you can make another perception check to watch the pattern of the patrols. Okay. Here we go. 
Nice. Mm-hmm. Unnatural I'm, 20. I, sh- I should have mentioned this before you guys also. I'm, I'm it's the people who only succeeded. Only the people who only succeeded, which would be everyone over the over 50. Uh, so that was me and... Me, Romy, and Askar, I think, are the ones Either succeeded. way, they did pretty well. <laughs> yes, they did. They did really uh, good. Actually, only one of you succeeded. Um... Hey, it works so. Oh, is it me? Anna looking Anna yep. looking along the walls, you can notice that a couple of the torches seem to stop every fifty or sixty feet or so. Uh and once they stop, they turn around and go the other way. They stop at another fifty, sixty feet, and then they keep going and they keep doing this pattern in a repetition of five. And once that repetition is done, they go all the, like they, they're doing this. A, through a stretch of like a thousand feet. So, At that okay. edge of the thousand feet, they don't go past. They basically do uh, a patrol of 50 to 60 feet and then they move on to the next 50 to 60 feet and then they move on to the next 50 to 60 feet. But they stay in one area for a decent amount of time. Yes. So we find a good edge part that we can get the most time when they start passing away at a good ear distance, too. You could also go to the far, far side of the wall and get over on that side, because there doesn't seem to be many patrols going out that far. And by the far, far side of the wall, where would that be? Near the quote-unquote corner. Right. I mean, I got no objection. Let's go for the corner then. Yeah, that'll Safe be our stealthiest. It's harder to get spotted. Uh, <laughs> looking at Anna, probably a little bit easier to not make noise. And get... <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something. My stealth roll was pretty on par. Yeah. Yeah, but I was one of the highest armor. stealth rolls. I mean, yeah, I'm wearing heavy armor. Or uh, dash, maybe violet. What? Which par was it? That does not make any sense. No, it doesn't. Incredibles. Helen, Violet, Dash. What about him? Why does that? Why does that go to par? Because her last name is Par. Oh. Is it? Yes, it is. Oh man! I totally overlooked that. I totally overlooked that minor detail. Yep. It's about Same. time they start screaming they Dane at us. Anyway. Also, it's completely understandable considering that's an uh, oftentimes overlooked fact. Anyway, back, back to it, number four. Back to not so to reality. That. Not well, so I'm reality. the DM. I can do whatever I want. Okay, shut the fuck up and let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all are high. Maybe. Only on a good I need day. whiskey right now, just to deal with this shit already. I'm about to, I'm about to go get a bottle of vodka out of the cabinet, I'm just saying. L- let's not actually get back to the game. Alright. So getting further over to the quote-unquote edge of the wall, uh, you actually start noticing that there is technically no corner. It's a mostly circular-shaped uh, wall, and you guys are at the quote unquote flat end so it's mostly shaped like an oval huh. so on, on the far left side is most likely a shorter side of the wall so we wouldn't have to climb as high uh, and it angles up I shouldn't, have, I shouldn't have said shorter I should have said uh, more narrow side of the uh, wall like, instead of being a mile thinner. wide it's like yeah, thinner Yeah, you made the wrong des- uh, descriptor there. But wrong anyway. description. So, it will be easier to climb up here. Uh, I think, who was good at throwing something at the in good timing? Oh, who's good at, you know, doing something that requires a good amount of strength? Or Is it strength or dex? For a gra- throwing a grappling hook, what, 50 feet up in the air? Grappling hooks are not light or finesse kind of things. This is a strength roll. 
That's up to Joe, ultimately. I was just thinking by what you do is you literally lob a big metal hook. Yeah, you, you really don't have to be up. accurate. You just have to be strong enough to get it up there. Like, just I know how castle sieges go with grappling hooks, and they, you see a burly dude take right, a big hook. Tangent. Who wants to make the roll? Uh, it will be either me or you because how? we're the strongest. The burliest. How about I beast shape into an ape and climb up? Actually, the... that would work. Or well spider, too. spider still. Spider is not going to be able to carry a grappling say, hook. I was going to say whoever can carry the grappling hook. An ape would work. Uh, yeah, you could. Does he have what to climb up the wall with as an ape? I mean, it's a, it's a CR of less than one, so yeah. No, I'm saying, does he have, like, an area of the wall that he could climb up? Uh, make a reception check. Me or him? I'm guessing you. You. Yeah, you're Again, the one. you could just t uh, tie it around him. In such a way that when he, he changes back, he still needs to be able to climb up there, though. That's spiders what he climb on walls. <laughs> no, he only has limited B shapes. Would be a good idea to turn into a spider and then immediately turn into an ape. Then he's done. He can't turn into anything. No, 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 no. He's saying yeah. use the spider instead of, but he can't use a spider because no, a tiny little spider wouldn't be able to hold the grappling hook, and a giant <laughs> spider is a CR one. He's not Circle of the Moon. Wait, couldn't he? Uh, he has to be below CR1. He has to be below mm -hmm. CR1. At level 4, I think it's CR1 half that he has. Yes, yes it's 1 half. It's, it's level 6 when he gets to CR1. And I don't think he can turn into anything spider like that would be able to climb up the wall decently as a CR1 half. Okay. Go ape, though. Well, monkey. Ape. Was that enough to find a spot for him I, I would say more monkey, because apes are like big animals. Mm. Yeah, one half. Apes All right. have more strength. If, so did he find anything then, or...? Yes, he was able to find some footholds along some parts of the wall. It, it seemed oh, to be more dilapidated over in the side of the area. Alright. So... Now we go with Asgard's gonna do... Actually, an ape is, uh, CR one half. Yeah. So he would be able to turn into an ape. Okay. Anyway, detracting from the thing, he's able to do that and get up there perfectly, right? Yeah, you think he still needs to make a roll for that? Joe? You do have to still make a roll for that. So, athletics? Uh, he does actually have a climbing speed of 30 feet as an ape. Uh, I would say it's a strength check to be able to carry and climb at the same time. Not athletics? Which oh, you... wait, it probably wouldn't have athletics, would it? No, it wouldn't. But, uh, your skills would carry. It does! <laughs> An ape has plus five to athletics as a skill. You, s you would still get an advantage because you're used to climbing things with the ape. As an ape, at least. So, plus so five. Roger, plus five and advantage. That would definitely do it. Yeah, you're, you climb up like it's nothing. Uh, and you are able to affix the uh, grapple hook to the top of the wall. Alright, and the rest of us need to make what to get up? Uh, athletics yeah, checks, I would think. That would be athletics checks or acrobatics checks at advantage. Depending. At advantage? At rope. advantage because you have a rope. Sweet. Oh yeah! How do I add advantage? Oh wait, never mind. I don't know. Because we put... Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! <laughs> you rolled two nat ones to fail that hard. Anna, Anna save it! <laughs> Bro, you have a nat 20. Bro. I do have a nat 20. Uh, Aurora... Seemingly forgetting the fact that he has hands, uh, tries to climb the rope with his teeth. Shit hurt. Just legs only. No, teeth only. Yeah, how'd that work for him? It didn't. 
They got about two feet up. That's actually impressive for just your teeth. And uh, have them try to drag the rope back up since there's like five of them up there. You could just tie it around your your waist and then. Or that. Everyone just fucking just pull them up afterwards. We have two strong people here. And one of them failed. I was gonna I was gonna say the one of the strong. Apparently. I have seventeen. I have seventeen. So it's I have really good strength. Yeah. Fucked up on rows. I'm just gonna roll it at normal fucking dice now. Uh, Mine are buried because I'm packing, so. So whoever is oh. helping, just make a strength check. Alrighty. Everybody helping? 16 mm. plus 3, so. Alright. Plus 3. Okay, I don't think much. I got a 19. <laughs> okay, well, there's enough of you, and you made most of it success. That's a minus <laughs> one! Yeah. Minus one. Okay. I got so noodle arms, but I'll help pull up the guy. Is not doing anything strength based in this campaign, guys. Your very, face, I love your that very friends seem to can pick up evil wimply from the uh, from the rope as you pull him up. Uh, so I got a freaking nineteen. Freaking ask, I got a nineteen. So we just both <laughs> pulling them up. Indeed. Uh, that's. Hilarious. Full I'm, not, two. I'm not gonna lie, Slim. I completely forgot that your character was a female. Yep. Oh, it's okay. It's hard to tell. You're a fish. Hmm. Fair. Uh, yeah, though. That was. The picture is also a male. I just couldn't find a female and I just didn't feel like looking, so. Neat. Game I'm with the name. The name is very feminine. Come on now. Really? I mean, Aurora could be a dude's name, especially for a fish. That's pretty yeah. gender neutral. I guess. Yeah. Anyway. Cisgender. Gender. Lol. Okay. So, anyway. Getting up onto the top of the wall, uh, you actually notice that this, this part of the wall is extraordinarily thin. Uh, it's only about three or four feet wide, uh, and only two of you can actually walk on this side. However, there is one thing that you guys forgot uh, to do. There is an owl bear. And oh he's god! Just standing there, like, now what? <laughs> Drop down the fucking rope and get him to tie it around himself, and then we'll pull him up too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, roll again for a nat twenty. <laughs> what? So uh. As you guys lower the rope, he just grips onto uh, the rope and starts hand over hand climbing up the rope <laughs> like it's freaking nothing. Uh, and apparently I had a nut 20, but oh man. He didn't need it. Uh, there goes my nut 20. Uh, I can't believe that the barbarian rolled two nat 1s to climb a rope. <laughs> hey, at least I got him out of the way. Jesus. You had advantage hey, and you look, still cut him. I was him. able to climb a rope with my bare hands. Har, har, har. No. Uh, Spartan kicked the Finger owl hands. bear back off the wall because that joke was that terrible. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you. Alright, guys. Okay, first, is there any patrols nearby that are coming our way? Make a perception check. <laughs> Everybody. Perception check, I'm running on real dice. God damn it, it's always the same. Oh, oh damn, gosh. I finally failed. 14. Wow. Uh, anyone with a 15 or higher? Yeah. Yes. Two okay. of them. Uh, both of you notice that on the far side, uh, not the side that you guys approached from, but on the opposite side, there are uh, patrols without torches coming not this way, but coming around in uh, uh, the, the main grounds below the wall. Like, they're walking directly towards the wall. Are they, like, are they, is there, like, a way to get up there from the inside that they're trying to come towards, or? Uh, they... No, it's more like they're patrolling the inside. Okay, well, let's just... So, I was correct, there was going to be inner patrols on the ground. Oh, yeah. Ground. Uh... <laughs> No, they're they're not. They don't have torches. Okay. That was from my uh, last bit. Uh, how big's the inside of the uh? 
Uh, well, the, the wall that you guys approach from is still a mile wide, uh, but what, from yeah. what you can see, the inside uh, is much smaller than what you were expecting. Um, on the far side, there aren't any other towers. It seems like this wall was actually constructed around the initial fortress, and the fortress is quite small. There's a single keep at the very center. Uh, there's a couple other buildings nearby, but it seems like most of this this area was built mostly to protect this hilltop, which is mostly oval shape. Hmm. And then the rest got built afterwards. All right. Other way around. Go well. The fortress was built on top of the hill long ago. The wall was built just recently. All right. Show. Uh, yes. While we are looking, can I get my chickens up somehow? Uh, I'm gonna give you a small hint, buddy. Your chickens, though very limited, can fly. So they can fly up? Yes. This 50 feet? Okay. Yes. Good to know. <laughs> Fucking chicken wings fly. Quack, 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 quack. Think quack, of quack, like quack, quack. The, uh, the cuckoo. Think of the cuckoos from uh, Legend of Zelda. The cuckoos! <laughs> uh, that's, that's not. Okay. I got so many arguments with that one. All we need to do is wait for an enemy to punt one of these chickens, and then a million of them will fly from off screen and just kill the enemies. You know, you know something? Here. You know something? That may have been a spell that we talked about adding. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was what we were talking about last session. <laughs> well, I called. I called that uh, Ascar was going for the Zelda chicken rampage. And then I bring up a bunch of gifts of that. Oh, right, there's a spell draw. Anyway, I mean, it, it would technically be called swarm. Anyways, so uh, <clears throat> you can it, either choose to remain on the wall or go down and maybe take out a patrol or two. It's up to you guys. What is our target here? Kill as many as we can. We need to clear out this keep of goblins and bandits. <clears throat> so I would. I would say we would want to take out the wall patrols first. Yeah, because they can get a shoot from above at us if they find us. And we're gonna want to be quick. Uh, we're gonna want to be problem. quick and quiet about it. The real problem here is going to be the uh, torches going out if we're not careful. Okay, so we have a bunch of people attack very stealthily, and we have a couple of people to catch the torches. I was gonna say, how many guards are there approximately, Joe, on the top of the wall? Well, uh, I saw, from the one angle, I saw between two to four groups, and that they patrol in 50 to 60 foot spans of the wall, and they work their way about a thousand feet. I thought we didn't see how many there were, just that there was... Only no, part of the wall. two to four groups, not two to four in a group, two to four torches that um, move along the wall in 50 to 60 foot increments going along about a thousand foot length of the wall. The reason why it's two to four is because uh, at some points they converge and become one group. So at most there's four, at least uh, there's two. Okay. Okay. No, I was saying two to four groups of people that patrol yes. areas. We don't know the exact numbers. Because you can't make out the details from this distance. No. Because okay. remember, the wall is literally a mile wide, and if you had a vision that was so good you could make out details a mile away, I would commend you for that. I have a crossbow so I can help in just ending in that way, because if I use a freaking Eldritch Blast or anything, that's going to be fucking noticeable. This giant beam of crackling light. Yeah, I'll probably I mean, I use my mace for this one. With my axe. <laughs> Albert says, uh, I have bare hands. I can break the neck. Yeah. Then let's get in, have... take him out, get out. 
Well, I also have an arsenal of throwing weapons, which I'm very happy I have. I have extra okay. damage. Okay. Let's take out the two that were, it was two that were coming for us without the torch. No, no, yeah, those, no, those are those are below ground. Those are on the those ground. are on the ground, below without the torches. wall without torches. They may mm -hmm. or may not see us, but I'm going to guess they, at the moment, they didn't seem like they were in a hurry. He said, "Walking, not running." They're on a patrol on the ground. They're yeah, they're patrolling on the ground. As long as we don't make too much noise. It should be fine. Says the one in heavy armor. Yes, says the one in heavy <laughs> armor. How long till Passive the Trace runs out, Joe? An hour. An, an hour. From now, I mean. No, uh, when you guys were at the edge of the forest, it started at an hour. Uh, I would say probably about 15 minutes. Uh, okay, so we it, takes, it takes you a while to get from the forest. Yeah. It's a mile. And it's a fuck, yeah, it's a mile. Plus, we have I to track run. around the side of the wall anyway. Exactly. Yeah. So we, we probably we probably have enough time to make it to and take out one group quickly before this becomes a real problem. Okay. Let's hurry and do it now. All right. So, because I am melee only. I am definitely sticking probably with Azkar and moving forwards. I have a crossbow, so I'm going to equip that right now, ready it, and stick to the, near the back. I'll hold on to some throwing weapons and get ready in that aspect. I have my mace ready. I'm still an ape. That could be a problem. <laughs> you can change well, back. You can change back. I know, but... You also don't take the damage it takes until you hit zero hit points, so you yeah. just jump in, grab the fucking fire, and then just kick him or something, really. Punch him. Fucking King Kong that shit. <laughs> not that big, but sure. I mean, honestly... I'm not a giant ape. Donkey Kong that shit. No, you're, you're a regular ape. A giant ape would be too high of a CR for you right now. For now. So, it's challenge seven. Then you're oh, never gonna get that. <laughs> Uh... Circle of the Moon is the only one that gets above a CR1. And even then, I don't think they can get that either. Yeah, they can. Unless you go beyond yeah, level 20. Oh, yeah, no. Unless they you get CR6. Yeah, that's true. They get CR6. Wait, so they're coming... We're taking out the guys on the wall. That's coming towards us, right? Uh... There are no guys on the wall currently yeah, heading directly yeah. towards us. All right, it's so... a patro uh, patrols on the ground yeah. are... We just came nearby because, you know, the patrol path. All right, so they I haven't thinking, seen us. They don't have I, dark vision. That I was thinking come. that I could uh, hang on the side of the wall and uh, fucking move move towards them. Get hang on the side of the wall and wait to get behind them. And then whenever um, you start your attack, I can sneak attack from behind with my dual weighted da uh, dual wielded daggers and take out one or two. Oh That's yeah, just just pull them back over the edge. Yeah. So you really want to well. Assassin's Creed this Assassin's shit? Creed style. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I can take him out without them knowing knowing anything. Okay, you have I to, think they would scream. You'd have to. I think there'd be like a check on that. Uh, acrobatics. Probably uh, an acrobatics to go along the wall. Maybe even be yeah. athletics because there's a lot of finger strength you need in that. I'd be fucked in that. That's, aspect. That would be that acrobatics would be or good. acrobatics is interchangeable with athletics. That's yeah. one way of looking at it. Sure. All right. It is. So, we good with that plan? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Because then we'll have someone basically stabbing them in the back, and most of our fight is going to be from the front of them. Right. All right. I'm going to do my acrobatics check. Dope. All righty. So, I'm guessing that Ascar and I are going to go and move along with the melee and keep our stealth with the Pass Without a Trace. Most everyone else is hanging back with range. Nastro's off the side, I'm guessing the exterior side of the wall. Yes. Um, to wait for when he can be behind them and attack. So just we're waiting in the shadows and while he gets like more ahead. So to basically be, uh, behind them. Everyone yeah. is holding an attack until Anna and Askar attack. 
Um, okay. I, I am only medium as well, so... I don't have much for range, because... Uh, you don't have any range, Lily? I she have has no range. Only, only, only Radiant Sunbolt, and that's... The yeah, let's not through, do that. So. Oh, that's right, you're a monk, so yeah, you'd be with us. You'd be with Asgard. Um, and I. so I, like I said, I have... Uh, what do you have for weapons, Romy? Okay. I have Quarterstaff and an Arm Strike. Alright. So. I have, I have a mace. daggers I can give you for now. I was about to say, I can give her some daggers. I got plenty of other stuff. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> to tell you guys something. Quarterstaff, as a monk weapon, does more. Yeah. It does more, but it doesn't have range. Because we currently stand 2 by 2 right now. Well, that's the thing. Is we're going to be we're going to be attacking on the wider part of the wall. Okay. So we because we're going it. outside of this corner to the nearest... Yeah. Uh, patrol group once they're not merged with or close proximity to uh, one of the other ones dump them because they'll be fewer in numbers we'll be able to stand three wide okay because he's saying that this is like really thick walls on the actual flat sides and that's what this is going to be I didn't say really thick I said Thick enough for thick three people to stand thick, shoulder to shoulder, thick though. Thick with, with a CK, not thick as in pieces. Okay. How wide would it be on the regular side of the wall with the patrols? Six to ten feet. Okay, so that's enough for two people. Two people. Yeah, so this quarterstaff would be the better anyway. You guys. I mean, it's up to her. Keep in mind, you have an owl bear. That's to this owl bear. Owl bear is large, though. Yeah, he's gonna take up a lane all himself. Yes. Here's here's a crazy question. Because the owl bear said that he really just wants to get um. He's out for blood against these people, yeah. Yes. He doesn't mind being a distraction. Yes. So if we go one way around the wall and he goes the other, he can be noisy and keep the attention on that side of the castle while we go around the other side of the wall and keep stealthy. And probably die. Yes. I'll go with the owl bear just for the sake of covering him. Yeah. And splitting the party. Okay, cool. I mean, I mean, do we got? I mean, I'm the tank. I Maybe know. He's gonna survive with a bear on his own as DB. You're right. I'm going to I'm going to come with him because I at least have some healing I could use on him. And myself. Okay, so I mean, now my plan is completely weirded out because I was. You now have two melee or you have two melee on one side, two melee on the other. That's fair, actually. No, we still have three yeah. melee on the other side because it's Ascar, myself, and Aromi. And then Nashville's hanging off the Nashville's side. Nashville's hanging off the side. That's a crazy question. Uh, how's your how's your acrobatics, Lily? Uh, Who's Lily, Aromi? My. I... Um. She could I probably mean... do backflips over the fucking group and just land behind them. That or um, a athletics. It's not. Uh, it's not awesome, but give, it's, give your, it's okay. Give your bonus. What's your bonus? What's your bonus to both to both athletics? Athletics plus four and athletics plus three. Okay. That's that's good. That's yeah, athletics okay. is good. Uh, what you can do, because apparently you're a strength monk instead of a dex monk. No, no, no. I'm dex. Acrobatics. No, she plus said four. acrobatics first. Plus yeah. four. Athletics, athletics is plus, plus six. Three. You said. Plus three. No. Oh, plus three. plus three. Never mind. I thought she said plus six on athletics for some reason. You're deaf. Anyways, then yeah, you can use your acrobatics. Uh, that's a still a pretty decent um, score to do the same as Nastril if you want. How about letting the ape climb? Well, the whole thing is that an ape is... You and I are going to go shoulder and shoulder down the side to hit the front line because we're as an ape you're tankier than these other two they're the deck space that will climb around the side because 
they're uh, quieter, mostly. I'll be right back in a minute. Okay, so am I trying to do an acrobatic song to see if I can do the same as Nostril if on the you... other side of the wall? Well, the whole point of going on the exterior is that you guys could both wait and basically jump off and move quickly enough that you'll uh, that you'll be... Well, no, no, they'll be behind and cut off an escape route and hit from the back. The The okay. point I'm making here is that you guys will have time to go your... Basically, Ascar and I will be shoulder to shoulder on, in front of them. You guys will be shoulder to shoulder behind them, even though you're on the same side of the wall. You don't want to be on the interior of the wall because there's a high chance that you'll get spotted. Because yeah, okay. there's ground patrols. Okay, well, let me try this then. Let's see how this goes. So yeah, it'd be a uh, acrobatics. I think that actually. That's you pretty did okay. pretty well. You did pretty well. Hmm. All right. The same as Nestor. So you guys, yeah. So it's myself, Nick, and the owl bear, and then everybody else. Yes. Perfect. Team destruction versus it was uh, team freaking acrobatics over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we've got our fancy stuff set up. Just for shit, yeah, no, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna risk it. Shits and giggles. Nope, I'm not gonna risk it because my wackos all fuck something up. So. Anyway. Per, per uh, torch patrol. Yeah, now we'd actually be able to get a sight yeah, on them. Great question. So actually, getting closer, uh, Nick, I'll, I'll let you know how many are with your uh, owlbear. Okay. Uh, you're going with the owlbear by yourself. No, no, Aurora's so... going as well. Oh, okay, cool. It's Aurora, uh, Varian, Aurora and, Varian. Oh, okay, awesome. and the Owlbear. So, if I could, I'd ask both of you to go into Whispers for now. Okay. Oh, you, I see. You're gonna you're gonna do this one at a time. Yes, I am. But because we're split up, we don't know what each other are doing. Exactly. exactly. Excellent. So, here's how this is working. Uh. The first torch group that you guys see is made from six people. Uh, there are four bandits, or humanoid-looking individuals, and two goblins that are carrying the torch. Mm -hmm. Take out the bandits first, and then finish off the goblins is my plan. Uh, one goblin is in front of the bandits, the other one is behind. Oh, god damn it. Uh, okay. You said four bandits, two goblins, yeah? Yes. It's a group of six. Be best to take out uh, do both goblins have a torch? Yes, both goblins have a torch. So this is looking like a point where two groups are meeting up? Uh, no. No? It's one group. It's one group, okay. In that case, we're going to have to... Yeah, our, the bandits are going to be harder to kill than the goblins. We're going to need to take them out first. Um... Nastville and Aromi, you guys both have the ability to make offhand attacks. Very quickly. Okay. So you guys are going to need to target the goblins once you hit your and hopefully kill your bandit. Sure. Alright. Uh, offhand attack, what's that? So basically, um, two-weapon fighting in D&D &D works in a very, very, very awkward and clumsy way because they have two things called two-weapon fighting. There's a base two-weapon fighting that everyone can do in the book, where basically when you take the attack action with a light uh, melee weapon, you can use another light one-handed <laughs> melee weapon to make a bonus action attack against it's either another creature or the same. Uh, so with my, since I'm dual wielding my daggers, use mm -hmm. my sneak attack, main one of the bandit, and then switch with my offhand to the goblin. Yes. Yes. Got it. Um, you do not add your uh, proficiency bone. No, you do not add your uh, your your stat bonus, your dex bonus to the damage of the sec of the offhand attack unless you have two-weapon fighting as a fighting style. Uh, 
Where's that at? Which I don't believe rogues ever get. Because rogues don't get fighting styles. That never made sense to me. Um, I think... I think... The assassin has a thing about it, though. I know Aromi gets a special thing. Her bonus action attack is an unarmed strike that she does, and it is not part of two-weapon fighting. No. Um, so you're, you're, you're good with that. I just need to look at the rogue real quick. Yeah, so I can hit with my quarter self and then punch with my... 94. Okay. Is that right? Yes, you can hit with your quarter staff, and then as a bonus action, you can punt. And if you need to, spend a key point to flurry of blows. Yeah, I'll be right back. All right. Uh, oh yeah, don't forget about your assassinate. Uh, you're an assassin, right, Nastlo? Uh, I'm the um, inquisitor. Because I, I, I was told that this would be more story-based than anything else, so I thought I would need fucking deception more than anything. Wait, your rogue archetype is Inquisitor? Yeah. Oh, is that a Xanathar's thing? Huh? You, your third level archetype. What's that? Where's that at? Uh, that is from the base book that is Thief, Assassin, or, um, what is it called? Arcane Trickster. And in Xanathar's, let me pull that up real quick. Classes. Uh, Rogue, Xanathar's. Inquisitive. Yeah, has no one talked to you about your archetype? I don't think so, no. Oh, you yes. haven't... You haven't actually done this, have you? No, like I said, I'm, I'm completely new to this shit. I could uh, have sworn that someone said that they were helping you with it. Uh, it was like everybody kind of slightly helping me at the same time, but... Okay, well, everybody... arch archetypes should have been handled then, because that is an extraordinarily, extraordinarily yeah. important part of your character. Okay. It's, it's literally your the job of what your character does. So that goes that's under classes, rogue, and then what is it? Archetypes. So archetypes. Um there are three rogue archetypes in the player's handbook. Okay, so inquisitive, mastermind, scout, and swashbuckler. Those are Xanathars. And those are extra ones that are that were added in by the expansion module, Xanathar's guide to everything. Um so the way the the three base book ones are laid out, you have Thief, which is good at, uh, well, stealing things. They get extra sneakiness, they hit, they get, um, their cunning action can be used to make a sleight of hand check, uh, or use your thieves tools to disarm a trap, open a lock, uh, that kind of stuff. Mine's, mine's inquisitive. Okay, you did do this, you took inquisitive. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm looking for you would have ear for deceit which whenever you make an insight check uh, to determine whether a creature is lying treat the roll uh, treat a roll of 7 or lower on the d20 as an 8 that's pretty nice eye for detail uh, whenever you make a perception check to spot hidden to spot a hidden creature or object, or make an Question investigation Derek. check to uncover. Who yes. told you that you needed higher deception? Uh, not perception. They just told deception. Uh, deception. Uh, I thought it was you or whoever said it. I Someone... should. I if I did, I did not mean it. You don't need anything. Yeah, I was, no. I was told the fact that this would be story driven, so going inquisitive would be best. There, I mean, there is story, but keep in mind, I'm not just going to get rid of combat. There will always be combat for everything. I don't know. Like I said, any whatever. any of the archetypes can work with a story driven campaign because they all More... get out of combat bonuses. Yes. The assassin. The only point is that you are a brand new uh, player of D&D &D. doing Xanathars and all that kind of stuff that's great 
I don't think it's something that you should do as a first time player. So is it alright to switch differently? Yeah, it's totally fine. Okay. You haven't really gone that far. You guys haven't leveled up yet. Okay. So, so if you wanted to look at one of the base book ones, yeah. I personally think that the thief archetype is utter shite. Yeah, thief is basically everything that both of the other ones do. Just it's less it's it's kind of a generalist. It has some fun applications here or there, but ultimately it's nothing that you wouldn't be able to do as a base rogue to begin with. The only thing is yeah. that they make it easier to use your sleight of hand to pickpocket people or use your thieves tools and that kind of stuff. Assassin is great if you want to be a really sneaky rogue. Um, you gain proficiency in the disguise kit and poisoner's kit so that you can uh, impersonate people and uh, make poisons for your blades. Uh, they also get an, immediately at third level when you would have taken this, you would have gotten an ability that whenever you deal, that whenever you attack something that um, hasn't gone, that hasn't had a turn in the initiative yet, yeah, uh, you have advantage on the attack roll against that creature. Uh, in so addition, any hit that... you score against a creature that is surprised is a critical hit automatically. This is going to take a while to react you to everything, so I'm going to let you do this few combats with Inquisitive, but when we take a break, which is probably going to be yeah. the next half hour to, to an hour, yeah. uh, I, I would suggest you sit down and talk to Steve about all of this, because there is a lot to cover for this. Yeah, and I am apparently the guy who is the best at teaching new players how to play D&D. Well, all right. I could help. It's just that I want to be able to eat my food. Sure, that's fair. Food. Um, yeah. So we'll go. We'll go with the inquisitive then, as you said, for now. Uh, which means that you don't get any immediate abilities that I think would be very g good right now, except you have insightful fighting, which means you gain the ability to decipher an opponent's tactics and develop a counter to them. As a bonus action, you can make an insight check against a creature you can see that isn't incapacitated, contested by the target's charisma check, uh, deception check. If you succeed, you can use your sneak attack against that target even if you don't have advantage on the attack roll, but, if, but not if you have disadvantage on it. Oh. That is probably more for actually in combat, not before it. Um, so you would just be using your base rogue uh, stuff, which is fine, because you still can get your sneak attack on the guy and still do your uh, offhand to the... to the... Um, the goblin. The goblin. Alright. So, we will go on with that. Yes, we should. Anyway. Indeed. Because I, I want the other two to eventually have a turn. I don't, I don't want them to be in limbo forever. Right, no, I get that. <laughs> so, here's how we're going to do this. The first group that you guys come to is two goblins and four bandits. Uh, you could either do a su surprise attack, or we could do a generalized roll to see how well the combat goes. Uh, I would think that a surprise attack is our better option because if we do a, if we do any form of standard combat, we're going to make a lot of noise. Yes. And that Which will draw a lot I'm, of attention to us. I'm saying, don't, we're not going to use the combat tracker. We're not doing any of that. No, I, I, I get what you're saying, but what I'm getting from that is that yeah. if we do a generalized combat roll... Like, okay, I roll my strength and they roll whatever they would use for their attacks and contested by the other group's checks and then we see who's on top with the total scores. Then that's assuming that we did pretty much basic combat but a quick version. Basically. That would be loud. 
I would rather do sneak attack and I'll use my mace instead of my right. whip because it does more damage. Fair enough. All right. So I want all the people that are in this group to do stealth. Or not stealth. Yes, stealth. I'm dumb. Uh, we yes. still have Pass Without a Trace going because of Ascar. Yes, we do. So I will I'm still do my disadvantage. But hopefully. Okay. Oh, thank Christ. That's a 23. Oh, damn, that's a 35. Well, Romy has decided to become Vax. I mean, that's fine. So a 29 for me. And a 32 for Nastro. Yeah. All right, so awesome. all of you are fine. Uh, you can clearly see that you guys know what you're doing. Uh, and walking along at a very slow pace and trying to stay stealthy and low, uh, you watch as the group... Uh, gets closer to all of you. And I'm going to let Aromi and uh, Nastro make their attacks first because they're in the back, and then I'll let you, the other two people up front make their attacks. Got it. All right, so, so either Aromi or Nastro will make their attacks first. Alright. Uh, fuck. So, fucking stealth attack. Let's. So you have advantage on this because they're surprised. Right. It is a surprise round, so you guys would not have to roll initiative until they initiate combat. Okay. So... Which hopefully you don't have to. So I roll an extra D4? Or D was it D6? Uh, actually, you're level 4, which means you would have an extra 2D6 on the damage roll for sneak yeah, attack. If you hit. If you so hit, a... so roll a dagger attack as normal, or roll a dagger attack with advantage. Advantage, got it. So click got the it. ADV on the bottom left. Got it. You would also have advantage on your app on offhand attack. Keep that in mind. So. Nope. No, no, no. That's roll and make an attack oh, roll. My bad. my bad. My bad. Okay, so that's you could crit. Also, that was actually a really, really good damage. Ah, uh, yeah. That's really right, good. So, so this is the attack one with the... With the okay. D20, yeah. With yes. advantage. A 25 total. That's pretty good. I'll I let you hits. use that damage roll. Yes, okay. that definitely hits. Alright, so now roll 2d6 for your sneak attack because he's letting you keep the dagger hit. So 2d6. <clears throat> so that's an extra 7 on top of the 8, which is what? 15. 15. Which is literally just enough... To kill the uh, bandit. As you uh, reach up and wrap your, your knife around the bandit's throat and just cut his jugular open. And he so, falls to the ground, cutting it, uh, holding his throat. Now you have your bonus action attack on the goblin. So roll another... Another D20, another dagger attack roll with advantage. Yes, advantage. Oh, wait. That that hits. Was... Yes, wait. that was your attack. Okay, and then... Another D4. Yes. Damn it. Goblins don't well, have a lot of them, so there's that. But they uh, have more than that. You did you did poke the uh the goblin, so he's slightly pushed back now. With a little wound on his shoulder. Then right, we go Romy. to a Romy. Nice, so I'm gonna spring off. No. Fuck! What is the <laughs> Wow. So, uh... Does a 13 hit a I, bandit? I will say one thing. That could be your goblin attack. Okay, did I attack the goblin, goblin first? <laughs> because that would hit. <laughs> I attack the goblin first, I'm gonna do that. Alright. That means you're unarmed for the... Yeah, okay. that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Key points. What are they useful for? Doing a lot well, of damage. The, the goblin is very dead. It's, as you reach up with your quarterstaff and literally golf uh, golf club the goblin's head clean off. Now, is, wait, are you attacking the wounded goblin or the non-wounded? Uh, the non-wounded. I'm guessing the one at either the front or the back. Either one, whichever one that Nastro Well, we're attacking from the back, so it'd be kind of hard to hit the front one. I was going to say, you'd, it'd be hard for you to reach the other one. That's oh, okay. Cool. Well, then I guess I hit that same one. So that's Could I do I, either way, you golf club the shit out of that guy's head. 
Do an right. acrobatics check to make sure to catch the fucking... The torch. Yeah, the torch before it falls. Uh, you may do that, yes. Hey, I caught it. You, you catch it just fine. Uh, okay, now you can do your two unarmed legs if you want to use your key point. I do indeed, yeah, sure. And I'm going to hit the nearest bandit. Okay, well, I'm not going to just do anything, that's fine. Hey. Well, that, that's, that's good. <laughs> Does it hit? <laughs> yes, it hits. Okay. Okay, that's good. Punch. Good, good amount of damage. Um, is it still advantage on the second unarmed mm -hmm. Uh... I believe it's yes. It's on all attacks. Yeah. Right yeah. Okay. Awesome. You are very so quick because you are a rogue, or not rogue, a monk. And um, monk. that hits. So. Um, so, so that would be... Okay. Yeah. So as you punch uh, the uh, monk in the back, he spins around and then you uppercut him into the the jaw, and you hear a snap as his neck just cracks and he falls limp to the ground. Oh, he's dead. Killed him. Sorry. Thing. Cool. That man's gonna be a paraplegic for the rest of his life. Well done. <laughs> Actually, he probably crushed his windpipe by doing that, so. Mm, sorry. <laughs> You're not sorry. So now the other two. Alright. Two bandits left. So, I'm taking a mace attack against the uh, a bandit. Okay. So here's my advantage attack. Net 20, motherfuckers! Jesus fucking Christ. Roll your damage. Uh, I'm also going to... Uh, mm, should I... Well, let me see. Never mind. He's dead. He's dead. Uh, oh, my you, God. You uh, two-hand your mace and just cleave the guy's Actually, head that was you... that was one-handed, technically. Cause doesn't it... matter. You don't have to. doesn't matter. With an... It... I'm just saying, as a right. natural 20, you're able to cut. Uh, Rule of cool. Could I? No, because I'm using mace and shield, so I wouldn't be able to use two weapon fighting. No, no you wouldn't. I mean, you could do a shield bash, but it wouldn't do damage. Oh, then... Could I use it to try and knock the goblin out? action. I could say maybe you could shove him? I don't want to shove him. I mean, I know there's the whole shield master that gives you the shield bash. I was just trying to see if I could, like, do a kick or something. Uh... If not to kill him, then to knock him out. See, that, that's like an attack. That's the thing. I know. Uh, it's fine if you say no. I'm just curious because I'm, it's trying to be just creative. Gonna, I'm just going to say no. Okay. In that case... Mr. Monkey. Yes. There's so... the goblin and another bandit. Attack the bandit first. Okay. Well, that'll hit. So that's 1d6 plus 3 damage. Let's see, 4. 5 damage. Okay. That's the bandit? The bandit, yes. Okay. And now the second fist attack. Okay. Oof. Oh, wait. That'll what? hit. That was weird. And another five damage. Okay. Oh, he is uh, severely bruised as you break one of his collarbones from a punch. So, the chickens. Did I get it for? Uh, yes, they would. Well, that's like so we have can, the chickens here too. You can make your uh, quote unquote pack attack. So plus two to hit with advantage. Uh, yes. Also, keep in mind that it is only a d4. For I know. Okay. Plus two advantage. That's the first chicken. Wow. No bonus Scratch. on the damage? No. The one d4. It's a chicken. There, yeah, Fair. it's a chicken. It doesn't get a proficiency or anything. And the second chicken. Uh, Does that hit the bandit? Not hit. 
Pretty sure they have a 15 AC. Yeah, sorry, man. Probably yeah. should have sent one of these after the goblin. Probably. <laughs> or both. They could have double both. teamed them. Well, shit. <laughs> That's it's for me and my chings. Here's the thing. I'm going to say roll initiative. If one of you is able to attack before they do, you're fine. Uh, we all roll initiative. It just so, all of you are rolling initiative. Okay. That's me. That's one chicken. Do I roll for the other chicken? That scared me for a minute. I thought I was about to get a one on the initiative. Okay, so that 21 might be enough. Oh no! Are you dead, friend? Natural twenty. They got, I got natural twenty. Well, shit. Oh, wow. So, uh, so much seeing his quietly. comrades fall in combat extraordinarily quickly, the goblin is just gonna put down the torch and put his hands up and surrender immediately. The bandit, on the other hand, is going to reach to his belt and pull out a horn. Oh. <laughs> no. And immediately blows into it. Fuck. Isn't it like an action and a bonus action to pull out a horn? Pull out a horn is a bonus action. Blow a horn is an action. Did he drop his weapons? He didn't have weapons drawn. Damn it. That didn't fuck out. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, so much for stealth. Why do I get natural 20s at the worst of times? Alright, I'm gonna go over to the other team. Okay. I'm guessing we killed them after that. I mean, we're gonna kill them all after this, it's just that we're noticed. Maybe they yeah. could be quiet, but we didn't tell them to be quiet, so they're not going to be quiet, which means this is gonna get very interesting. <laughs> also, I was looking through my spells and I realized I had something that might have helped us do this ahead of time, but I'm a derp. I forgot to have the sleep spell. Uh, oh, no. I could have thrown an egg if it wasn't a monkey. <laughs> and it could. I mean, maybe you I had the something. choice to revert back to Azkar and not be a monkey. But I'm not gonna waste my white shape. You didn't waste it. You used it in a utility sense rather than a combat I know. sense. But I think I am was able to do my damage this way. Uh, do you have the Shillelagh spell? Yes. You have probably done more damage using your... Uh, using a staff in Shillelagh, or a club in Shillelagh, than... doing this. Yeah. Than being a monkey. Ah, uh, I'm very sad that we didn't get to kill them before they... I also realized, I also realized I probably could have shoved the goblin off the exterior side of the wall and it would have been a lot better. Because it might have made noise, but it at least wouldn't be in full sight of the ground patrols. Oh, um, Steve, that's what I wanted to ask you quickly now. You know, I had the uh, uh, what is it? ability score improvement that I hadn't added. Yeah. I know I wanted to put one on dex to make it 20. Did we say the other one was wisdom? Make it 16. Yeah, you want to oh, you want to do wisdom because wisdom will increase your um AC. Okay, yeah, I did that. Because you're a monk. Okay, well then I'll leave that on wisdom then. I'm good with that. Awesome. Yeah, I couldn't remember if we said to make intelligence 18 or wisdom 16. You want wisdom. You would. I don't know why you have an 18 wisdom. Or an 18 intelligence and only a 16 wisdom as a monk. I have a 17 intelligence. Should I switch those? Am I able to switch those? At this point, probably not. Fuck. You'd, you'd have to ask no, but. You've already allocated your points. Why did I think I needed intelligence? I don't... I don't know why you went with intelligence. 
should we maybe talk about future plans? What we should do now? I mean, there's a bandit and a... There's a wounded bandit and a full health goblin le left in this group, and two of us, and four of us. That's not the that's not the real bad point. The bad point is I that he blew that. the horn, which means we're gonna have a lot of guys rushing at us. Yeah. yeah. I do have. But now we're separate. I do have an idea because they're about to be divided. Like I said, they were. We're going at the same time as the other ones. You think they get a horn too? Well, well, what I'm saying is that they weren't initially attempting to be stealthy. We were the stealth squad. Yeah. The appreciate. saving grace here is that they're meant to make noise and be a bigger threat. They have an owl bear that's on their side over there. That's going to add to the to the threat over there. You think I'm able to glide out you're, by you're hanging? Kinda, uh, quiet there, Romy. What's your question, though? I was just wondering what are artisans' tools and what do they count as? Artisans' tools? Yeah. They're used for making things like. I think an artisan is someone who makes furniture. Okay. Unless, of course, you mean as a feature, you get artisans tool a set of artisans tools. I do. I have a set of artisans tools, or one of which. Um... Oh, okay. Um, artisans tools are like blacksmith tools, jewelry tools, that kind of stuff. So I can have any of these that will come up with tools. Uh, there's a whole section in the in the player's handbook in the equipment. Dang, give me a second here. Um, because after the equipment is artisan's tools. So artisan's tools include alchemist supplies, brewer's supplies, calligrapher's supplies, carpenter's uh, tools. Uh, cartographers, tools, cobblers, cooks, glass blowers, jewelers, leather workers, masons, painters, potters, smiths, tinkers, weavers, and wood carvers, tools. I think I'm gonna go with leather workers. Okay. Yeah. That sounds good. I can sort out almost everyone. Well, anyone who If you touch my will have problems. Uh. A any you could do anyone who wears leather armor, leather which would be yeah, yeah. Nastril. Yep. I mean the chickens wear leather armor. If I get missions, the chickens. chickens you could do Nastril and the chickens and maybe Azkar because I'm not sure what kind of armor druids get. I think they only get light uh, armor. It's, yeah, it's light like armor. Because they, they have they can't wear metal. They can't wear metal armor. What the hell is that? What's that? What is that? There's oh, Richard's using his shop. Oh, okay. So he has power tools going. That's a table okay. saw, if I have the sound correct. Or a lathe. So who has the crippling hook, by the way? Who has the what? The crippling hook. The grappling hook. Uh. Oh, I don't know who uh, that would be Aurora had the grappling hook and probably returned the grappling hook to Aurora when we climbed up. Yeah. Okay. I was going to say because we're all kind of stuck in that Probably went to original, I don't know. You think I can hang on to my chickens and glide away if things get bad? Uh, I don't think two chickens can hold a human. What's the strength of your chickens? Uh, it is seven. No, no, you cannot. <laughs> I could wild shape, but then I could also. Especially since work. right now you're actually an ape, which is bigger and heavier than a human. Well, yeah. technically the same size category, but heavier than a human. 
<laughs> oh yeah, Lily, I wanted to talk to you about something real quick. Okay. I had an idea that um <coughs> about a uh backstory item that you and I would have. And that okay. is uh, a pendant with the initials T O on it in memory of your husband. <gasps> Yes. And we would we would each have one because I remember him as a uh, as a comrade in battle, and you obviously have fond memories of him as your husband. Of course. Ah, um, uh, I love it. So uh, we'll have to clear that by Joe, but I wanted to get your opinion. Good on job, that. fuck it up, guys. Yep. Not our fault. Joe, not, not my okay? fault. You all fuck up. <laughs> so, uh, we heard your horn. So I should mention that immediately as you guys separate, the elderbear just goes into a blind rage and rushes along the wall. And within like 15 seconds, you guys hear her. Like, oh, okay. It's almost instant. So you guys fucked up too. No. no we were that was the whole point of ours. Oh, oh. It was <laughs> supposed to be the distraction. Yeah, there was... How did they know we were supposed off? to do that. How did they know what you were off? Well, that's the thing. That that's the thing is that because we would have gone at the same at the same time, I figured they were already making noise over there by the time with the horn went off. Yeah. So you guys all hear off in the distance near the keep. Uh, there is a very loud horn that goes off. And the gate to the keep, which is actually facing to the west, which is your direction of this wall, uh, right. you can hear a very loud <clears throat> as yeah. the uh, drawbridge is raised. We'll have to figure that out later. But we still have, we can still clear out the scouts along the wall and disappear later. Yep. Yeah. Until and then, at least we're dividing way. forces because there's two sides of the wall that we're going at, and divide and conquer. Divide and conquer. At Let's least, go. at least the noisy team or the original noisy team was paired up with an owl bear to at least get a little more threat on that side. Yeah. Yes. Also, I'm going to love what I'm going to do to the eight people who showed up. Oh my so, god. So uh, at this point guys, I'm gonna ask if you would all like to take a break while I get go food. Get your snacks, get some food, yeah. use the bathroom, do what you need to do. Yeah. Before all hell breaks loose. Because that's basically what's gonna happen. Uh this the is combat the is gonna ball. be the combat's gonna be kinda staggered, so whoever uh gets whatever role, uh both Aurora and Varian will be going after the other group. So just keep that in mind. Yeah. Um, but they will all be happening at the same time. It'll be the same six seconds. Yeah. Actually, yeah. I could just keep uh, the initiate the uh, second party initiation in them. They should, they should have ordered on a piece of paper. Yes. yes. So could I just roll that now for my initiative? With, yes, uh, Aurora. Aurora, you want me to roll it for you also? What's the bonus that you have? 18 for me. I, I want to point out, I actually want to point out that it was a double set of bad luck because we could have kept it quiet if they didn't roll a nat 20 on their initiative. I should mention that as the uh, the thing stands right now, it's actually accurate. Because we would have we would have probably been able to keep... So what'd you I'm get, uh, Nick? I had a freaking 18. Putting in right now. Uh, and... Where does Slim go? Wait, do you know his bonus? Uh, I could actually just roll him. So it's plus, the dice it's plus four. Okay, so I'll roll it for him since the dice seems to be against him so much. Yes. <laughs> 14, so he has 18. He has 18 oh, as well! Oh, oh he, he rolled, he rolled. Oh. He got a 9. Swipe up. That's uh, it, isn't it? Tell it? Oh, no, that might I can't see. That's initiative. Don't have mine. I-N-I-T. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get my food. I'll be back in a little bit, Becca. Stuff is on... If you're waiting yeah. on me. 
I, I'm just waiting for. We're waiting on. To stop yeah. We're mostly. waiting on no one. We're, we're waiting on mostly waiting. me to Let's stop go. talking. Yeah. Yes. So shut up and stop talking. But I like to talk. Nope. Shut up. <laughs> Can I play a brass right. dragon? No. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> then I have an excuse to talk. Shit. That's all, all right. they do. <laughs> I'm shutting up now. Yes, you are. <coughs> um, so back to the combat. Uh, all of you have your initiative rules. Yep. yep. And uh, like I said, I'm just gonna go from the top. You guys have your roles. You can take your turns when it gets to your turn. Just remember that um, Varian and uh, Aurora are on the opposite side of the wall. Yes. Yeah. So uh, we interact with each other. So Ascar, after Ascar, I just go, and it's Varian and Aurora's turn. Well, actually, technically, you go after me. Yeah. If we're doing an overall combat thing. Yeah. Hell, we could use the party sheet, really, and just like put well, you... the spider line. Yeah, that's true. Because Joe could just draw a giant divider line between the middle and just say, "That's the where." <laughs> That's the floor for both of you, since we're on opposite walls. It's almost like I'm doing that right now. Also, Good Joe, my, ch my chickens did get 16 initiative. Cool. Do you see me drawing? No, I don't. Do you okay. see me drawing my uh, pointers? I see the pointer. Yeah. I see the 39 and 35 lines. Yes, I'm dividing your life. Why is one three tiles... Why, why is some of them three tiles thick? Uh, they're supposed to be three tiles thick. Okay. Oh, I see. We're in the middle, too. The other bits are the... part yes. of the, the, the inner and outer wall. No. There we go. Problem solved. Possibly, maybe? What do you mean, Why possibly? isn't this letting me... I'm trying to drag this so it goes up to the top. I... Not letting me. Yeah, I don't think anything... Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you have to, you have to take the <laughs> back go, end it, and put it, it at the top. It. Okay. So, basically, you guys are uh, either on the left or the right side. Uh, the other line is indicative of the wall, so one side is the interior, one side is the exterior. Mm. I'll give you a hint which one is the interior and which one is the exterior. So I'll put you there, you there. Oh, okay, I see that. Uh, Now I give you your chickens and your owlbear. Which is still really weird to say. <laughs> Chicken and owlbear. Joining forces. One time only. Forces of nature. <laughs> it's not wrong. It not isn't. even a little. I'm appalled. They don't have a chicken con. Why would, why would they? Because they have a duck pog, they have an eagle pog, they have a goose swan, they have a hawk, they have a swan. So use a duck. Yeah. I'm gonna use a duck. It's like a water chicken. <laughs> use a swan because that is basically just a water chicken. By the way. Uh, I'll use the duck for the male, so you can differentiate them. Quack quack, motherfucker. And now Elbear. Do 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 do. 
Can the chickens be in the same space as me or another ally? Uh, it's a good Control. great question. Control, Control scroll. There you go. Because owl Pitch bears are action. big. They are. It's almost oh, like this size it. category large. What did you delete? Uh, the library. Boo. The library? No like, library. Uh, like I closed out the tab. Hmm. Ah. When I didn't want to. You need, ba you need to get those bandits. And goblins. Mm. Gob on my knob. No. Pay no attention. Alright. <laughs> Pay no attention to the short man in the freaking booth. You guys didn't kill your goblins? What the fuck? Oh no, a new group came in for us. New group's um, coming in. Oh yeah, we still have two guys. We have yeah. eight to deal with. Yeah, new group is coming for us. Yeah. We actually have a big owl bear. Mm -hmm. Well, I thought he yeah. went to human form, so he's smaller. Uh, he's half human, half owl bear. He's not human form. He's like a oh. were owl bear. Kind of like Doctor Mister Doctor Professor. He's just a naked, not major of the army. Chested owlbear that can walk on two legs. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I guess we have a you guys appear to have like ten on your side. Because you still have the two others that didn't fall. Uh. Okay. <laughs> oh, wish I could have a few of that. No, no, no. Where's this owl's bear's freaking uh, initiative? So, real quick, we should actually fix this. I'm moving things around because those two were definitely not at the front of things. Nope. Well, I thought we would have been, like, up here. Yeah, we were behind. Well, at this point, we probably would have... Oh, wait, no, we wouldn't have. No, yeah. because they're still in between us, so we're... That's true. They we have the one be. bandit and one goblin in between us. Chickens. And the chickens would be up front. Are those both chicken tokens? That's yes. a duck and a kind swan, of. but One's male, yeah. one's female. Close the duck's enough. male. The duck is the male. <laughs> hey, at least we brought the attention of those guys then with the freaking horn. Why are they looking at the chickens? Because yeah, they're going to be slightly confused as to where to go, where to go. That's true. Because one side has an owl bear, the other side has the horn. Well, no, both sides had horns. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, All right, shall we start? Yeah. Romy, you're first. Oh, no, 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 not Romy, not Romy. No, Dennis, I'm dumb, and literally you're almost dead last. Too many A's. There are a lot of A's. Alright, so I'm going? Yes. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna have to smash this man. Smash his face. That's the intent. So I will roll for an attack with my mace. And probably miss. That'll hit. Nope. No, oh, that hit. hits. Oh wait, no, it doesn't. Never mind. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm going for the bandit. Not. Hold on, hold on a second. Uh, hold on a second. That is not accurate. The goblin is supposed to be up front. Yeah. Oh, that's yes, right. It does hit. Because I would have to hit the goblin, so it does hit. Yeah. I will do my damage. And it's dead. Good. In a puddle with the mace. I'm not even. I'm not even gonna delete him because I'm gonna need more of his tokens later. Fair enough. Just uh, throw him over the edge. <laughs> then Whee! for my movement. This headset sucks. Uh. Gg. 
Oh, literally every single person sounds like they're in a fucking tin can. Uh, Asgar is still an ape. Can I share a space with a chicken? Yes, yes you can. They are size category small. Then I will move up to here and apparently bury the male chicken. Huh. Male chicken, no! So, you have... Where's my cat? There I, you go. I don't know if you can... Oh, there we go. That'll work. Just sit on your face. That's fine. Uh... On your shoulder. As long as we know that there's two things in that space. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's all I can do. Can I want to do react? something ridiculous. Can I run off the freaking owl bear and jump into the middle of the freaking group of enemies? You want to basically do a athletics check. Mm -hmm. Well, either athletics or acrobatic. acrobatics, either one. But yes, I can allow that. You want to use better Albert as a springboard, right? I've been doing that a lot with characters lately. <laughs> okay, where's my athletics? My athletics, athletics, it's plus three. Let me roll real dice. 15 plus three, that's definitely going to make it. That's an 18 total. Yeah. So, the question is five, what? <laughs> Fucking. Yeah, it's layering funny. tokens is really dumb. Don't let go of how your... How far can I jump is the question. Uh, how far can you normally jump? It's usually half your speed. To 15 feet. <laughs> God damn it. But it's 15 Five. feet from the owl bear. Yeah. I could only reach up to here, really. So you could land on a goblin. Do it. Uh, fucking <laughs> these guys have such white hitboxes. So I'm going to land there and then unleash freaking necrotic shroud. What did that have do? A... They had to make a what was it? A charisma 15 check. D uh, yeah, charisma DC 15 check to not be frightened from a 10 feet distance around me. Saving throw, you mean? Yeah, saving throw. So that's all of them. Doesn't it also deal necrotic damage? No, I could choose in the one minute of the end to right. do the damage of any target I hit. So what's the DC? 15. It's everyone within 10 feet of him. Oh. Everyone. You have to do a lot more rolls then. Yeah, you got Shit. another four rolls to do. Oh no, eight rolls. What's the width of each square, is my question. Five, five feet. feet. So, okay. Every square is five feet. So, everybody reaches them. All the bandits and shit. Jesus Christ! What? I need to take a picture of what I rolled. Wow! They all saved? No, you, you need to see this. I think none of them saved. Get the camera up. <laughs> it's all ones. <laughs> it's all nat ones. Landing on the goblin, do you do damage to the goblin? Nah. Unless I would go for a sword strike, nah. I'm not that heavy. Okay. I'm posting this to general because this is... This is unbelievable. Oh. Who just turned into a fan? <laughs> slim. slim. That would be Slim. He's probably turning on his air conditioning. Uh, wow. wow! They all saved. Yep. Except one guy. No, Except one. he he saved because they has a, they have a plus three. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ! You Jesus! Suck. How the fuck is that possible? Joe, can you stop rolling like shit again? Two nat twenties yeah. and two nat nineteens. They have a proficiency of two, dude. No, I'm talking They're... about the motherfucking rolls that I have oh, right there. Oh, all of that. Yeah, it's awful. You don't see Joe. You don't hear Joe laughing though. He loves it. I'm not laughing. I'm dead that... on the inside. <laughs> that is complete bullshit. Wait. It's not. It, it's it's real rolls. 
Yes, Wait a minute, one, two, three, save. four, five. That's five. That's for the different groups. I rolled for each group. Oh, okay, I see what he did. Okay, by rows. Yes. Yeah, he did two per, I basically. Used, so he did the two goblins. Are you shitting me? I didn't want to do ten. Wait, wait, wait. Those are all charisma saving throws? <laughs> I believe so. This yes. Is... Okay. Oh, that sucks. Also, because oh, last time, oh no, the goblins probably got one of the really high numbers. No, they they can. No. Well, hold on a second. Wait, goblins have two <laughs> charisma? No, it's saving throws, dude. It's a saving throw. Yeah. Keep that in mind. The goblins wouldn't have. They don't. Never mind. Yeah, they, they don't. So they the wouldn't... goblins start fucking running they away from me. They would fail. They can't run anywhere. There's nowhere to go. There's nowhere they can't to run go. Their allies. The only way they can get out is by running off the fucking. They can't come at me. Or well, wait, so why a fight. They all... Hold up. A frightened creature cannot directly, uh, deliberately move towards you. However, um, they can choose not to move away from you. They also have disadvantage on attacking me, period. Yeah, they have a disadvantage on all attack rolls and ability checks as long as they are within sight, as long as you are within sight of them. Also, technically, there is one literally under you. He can't really move right now. <laughs> Plus, if they move away, you get attacks of opportunity. Or you will get one attack of opportunity against the first one that leaves your threat range. So they can't run through their allies. They could. <laughs> what is the four for? I don't know. Technically, goblins are small creatures. So they could. Anyway. Anyways. I'm going to use person. my bonus. Wait, I need I'm going to use my bonus action to freaking strike at somebody. Also, oh, Joe, once you're uh, once we're done with the session today, go into whispers or something with me. I gotta oh, figure out what. Oh, okie dokes. Okay, so I have a proficiency of plus five with the long sword, and that misses. There's no way that's hitting. What'd you get? I have no luck. I got four <laughs> plus five. It's not gonna hit no. that goblin. No. That's not gonna hit. Okay. All right. Actually, fuck you, person, fuck you, Joe. Literally. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. The one time you think that I've hit like so many people with a fucking they all save. Have you been to like the West Coast and have you met a strange man with vibrant hair, pretty goth? His name is Talison Jaffe. He steals people's luck. He is the luckmeister. Tangent. Let's go. Uh, I hate Eric, you. it's your turn. Alright. Murder everything. I'm There's only one thing for you to murder, but still murder it. Uh, I kind of want to try something, see how it goes. Would it. Would it be alright? All like, it's he's not looking at us, right? Like, no. he, he's... Okay, so, my thought process on this is to... S sneak up from behind, freaking grip, grapple from behind, and put my dagger up to his throat and try to get some more information out of him before I, you know, stick it in his jugular. Okay. So okay. Information that, like that in six seconds. That'll huh? be intimidation. What are you going to say to him while you're intimidating him? So my thing would be, to, my I would say is, look, if you can hear that owl bear going crazy over there, you already know that you're fucked. I might just let you go if you give me more information about the whereabouts of everybody else in this damn place. Okay, roll intimidation. All right, intimidation. Well, he technically need to make a grapple check here. No. 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 Okay. 17. Wait. Plus three. Is it Twenty. Twenty. One total. All right. Uh, so he's gonna wet his pants, uh, noticing the fact that he is alone, and all of his comrades are very much dead. Uh, he's gonna quietly say, what do you want to know? So, 
How much more of your guys are inside that big old building there? I'm, I've never been one for counting, but uh, I'd say two or three platoons. That's a lot. Well, the thing is, my question, like, I know... Platoon is 50. Okay, because I know different size platoons. So okay, I'd like to know how many are on the wall right now. Uh, there's six groups of patrols and the different numbers. Our group was six. What's the biggest group? Eight. Was there a group that is there a group that meets up with you at any time? Uh, yeah, there's another group of six further down the, the wall. Are they gonna come here? Probably, I just called the horn. Yeah, that's fair. Mm -hmm. Is there any other questions you guys have? Are there civilians? Uh, no, why would there be civilians? Why would humans oh, cooperate just... with goblins? Just making sure, just making sure. That isn't any of my business. I, I, I'm just doing my quote-unquote job. Uh, how's that going out for you? Uh, well, I blew my horn. <laughs> cool. All right. Is there anything else for that you guys have? Because I got one more thing after this. Uh, after all your guys' things. Go for it. I think I'm done. Yeah, I don't have anything else. Ascar's you know. no. an ape. Uh, fair enough. I, that's a, Ooh, uh, uh. I don't know. Okay, I didn't know if he could still speak. No, he nope. can't talk when he's an animal. No. Actually, never mind. Alright, so I ask him, uh, I say this. Alright, how about this? I'll let you go, but give me all the cash you have on hand. Uh, I mean... Or gold I don't, or whatever you say. I don't... He, he's he's going to look a little little shifty and say, I don't carry money on me on my patrols. Yeah, throw him over the wall. I don't believe that. Inside. I'm going to inside him. All right, inside, inside him. Inside. Would I be able to join that? You may. All right. Damn it. That's bullshit. Ah. Uh, he is definitely telling the truth. All right. Like, you guys trust this guy... Do you ruin that twenty? Maybe. <laughs> Guys, I just want you to know that Fuck you, Joe. three of my roles inside of the tower in the past like five minutes have been natural twenties. And another Fuck. two have been natural nineties. Alright, so we got Fuck. everything we could out of them, so my Get next back. action my next action after getting everything I need is to stab him in the spine. Okay. Like, you had, your, you had your you had your knife on his throat. You could have well, just cut him. You could just cut that, his that throat. Is, Either one. So that's Pick. the thing. When you have someone in a quote unquote coup de gras mo uh, mode, like when they're like surrendered and they're not doing anything, you can just kill them. Yep. All right. Draw well, your you. dagger across your throat and they're dead. All right. Well, he's dead now. I got what I needed. He's dead now. Yeah. He and tries to claw at the the gash wound in his throat and just lumps over very dead. Or dying. Keep right. in mind, I'm going to encourage that if you must kill someone, that you do it as quickly as possible. Well, I stabbed him in the throat, so, I mean... That's no, that's that's one, of the, that's one of the quicker ways to kill someone, believe it or not. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick, guys. You can still do your turn, I just won't be able to hear you. Uh, is there any other turn I can do? Like any more actions, or is that it? Uh, you're a rogue, so you would bonus action hide, which would uh, be yeah. a stealth roll. All right. Fuck so I'm actually fuck. going. I'm actually going to say one thing. Uh, I am going to give you guys some things to fight while I am away. Yeah, we. Specifically, I'm going to give you more goblins. <sighs> The horn has been blown, and now the enemy's coming that direction. We must take up arms. So now it's a chicken so You guys might want to move your icons a little lower. Lower? Yeah, like. Yeah, like there. 
Well, actually, um, yeah, I went ahead. Chickens with me. Chicken there. So, there is a ladder directly into the uh, interior of castle or the wall. Yeah. The wall. Do it. <laughs> You are. So, so Joe, fuck your luck right now. Maybe. All in all, it lost another brick in. The okay, wall. I'll be right back. I love that song. So, I guess maybe do another. Uh, do the whole. Where's that? Uh, cunning action. Yeah, if yeah. you can find some place to like duck behind people or whatever, and go back over the wall. Block again. sight. Then yeah, you can cunning action hide as a bonus action. All right, so do a stealth check. Yeah, roll stealth. All right, that's pretty decent. Yeah, probably gonna work. Probably gonna work. All right, so uh, is there a way to move me over the right side of the wall, although cut. I don't think I can. Uh, I go like this or something like that. Yeah, just keep yourself next to it, and we'll know. Yeah. I'll, we'll do a half off so then it makes sense. Like, hey, I'm fucking, I'm hiding. Like, that's how good I Move it down a little bit so that you're still in line with that square, though. I still can't believe Joe saved so much of them. Okay. Right, I just want to point out, I have every single one of you at 200% at max volume on my own computer, and I can barely hear you. With the exception of Steve, who's only at 50%. Oh, I'm sorry, he's at 100%. Nonetheless. Yeah, I, I know. I have a powerful voice. I can't voice. even hear Lily. Have you made sure the volume mixer on Discord is up? Yep. Also at 200%. There's literally nothing else I can adjust. I'm back. Cool. I, uh, what I did was I did a cunning action to hide back over the wall. And Sounds good, my dude. Because I figured it used his action to do all that with the last bandit. Yep. So he had his bonus action to hide. Cool. All right. So, yeah. That's it for me. Romy! I thought it was chicken next. Oh, yeah, chickens. Because <laughs> they got 16. Take them off the ladder. Take them off the ladder. <laughs> For for this, you can go ahead and do that. Yeah. So you, you can move your chickens as you see fit. I still can't believe this. Just fucking wow on your rows, Joe. I think that's I'm it sorry. for the chickens. You should have just went. You should have just went to Vegas and started betting. <laughs> Seriously. I mean. Fair. I've I've gone to the casino before and won hundreds of dollars. So. Yeah. Can you. I go to the casino with you? <laughs> I mean, if you want to come to the United States, sure. No, because then he'll set the luck out of you and just get it for himself. It's it's what he's been doing this entire game. I literally have a deal with the devil to just suck all the people's luck off. We of them. don't need another talisman, damn it. <laughs> I don't need Apple frickin' times two. Okay, he does that to me. Friend of mine. I mean, if Joe sucks my luck up, then he's oh, probably gonna start okay, losing, then. so... Are the chickens' turns done? Um, the chickens are yeah. done. Okay. Okay, so Romy. Now it's Romy's turn. Are they holding action to attack? Yeah. <laughs> I, I think, Makes I sense. Figured. They're just gonna peck the shit out of the first person you see. <laughs> Guy climbs up and just chickens to attack in his face. Like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> the question okay. is, would he fall backwards off the fucking ladder? <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. Alright, so, uh, Mummy's gonna... Uh, this is where the ladder is, right? Yes. Okay, well, she's gonna just go there. And I'm guessing this guy's at the top of the ladder? No, he is still at the bottom. Oh, motherfucker. Well, Jesus Christ. You, you can Set up in sentry mode. You can hold your action. Yeah, you can. Uh, yeah, that's what I was just thinking. I'm prepare gonna... a spot, like kick. <laughs> no, prepare, prepare a radiant kick. Radiant kick. I'm actually really looking forward to being able to do Sparta kicks in uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Uh, I don't. Tangent. Yes, tangent. Anyways. 
Is that all you're doing? Yeah, I'm just gonna hold my action uh, until Go, he dude. comes to the top. Chicken man, do your chicken things. Yeah, no That's chicken thing uh... this round. I'm going to use no egg. Eight He's an ape. No egg. Okay. He can't cast spells. That's so... fair. He's not in chicken mode. Yeah, I'm gonna drop ape. Ah. You drop ape. That's a free action. Remember that. And I'm gonna is use it? ice knife. Mm, yes. Dr it is. Going into form takes an action. Dropping it costs nothing. It's like dropping concentration. Yeah. So I'm gonna I use ice knife. Thing for that, but go, ice go snap. for it. Oh, bye. Bye. Welcome bye. Back. Eh. Hi, what guys. standard deviation? Now they just have to make a freaking save against the explosion. Knowing my rolls, they all get natural twenties. Don't do it. I have to get one. I'm gonna go by columns. Okay, dexterity saving throw. Yep. What in the? I guess they save. Yeah, no. they probably save. No, they don't. Huh? Two natural so ones and a natural two. <laughs> so that's you two to six like damage. You have six fucking twenties, so... I'm like a perfect storm of chaos. And almost max damage. You can revert to your normal form earlier by right. using a bonus action so on your turn. You literally just freaking one-shot five goblins. Nice. And the guy that's at the base of the ladder is like, ah. Uh. What do you do? He <laughs> watches the goblins turn to ice. Ah, uh, ice knife. So I'm just gonna pile the bodies up. You can get rid of the pointer too. Wait, is that last one still alive? The, yes. The last dude, yes. That's not what I wanted to do. God damn it. There we go. I'm trying to get rid of the pointer. I try. Oh, there, there we go. go. Got it. So I still have bonus action? No, you used the bonus action to change. I yeah, really didn't press the button, clear all tokens. I would just, I, I would have flipped. You would have, you would have just like, everything would have been gone. Yep. <laughs> yeah, it's a bonus action to revert from your wild shape. Yes, it is. And I'm gonna move over here, and then I'm done. Wait, I could have used radiant sun bolt because it's a range. Yep. You're still holding action anyway, so you you're can still just... holding an action. You can still you do can it. still use your action. To yeah, do it. I think I'm gonna just just fucking just, just yeah. launch it just, down yeah, the ladder. Yeah, that's my fucking Just hit. launch it down the ladder. I just can't even see my fucking roll. Nope. Nope. No. Unfortunately, it doesn't matter. He's too cautious after the explosion. Like, oh God, a fist. What no, oh point? god, a radiant bolt of un of energy. Uh, oh god, a radiant bolt of energy in the shape of a fist. <laughs> what is I guess so I can think of the Shura's Wrath. Alright, Aurora, kill everything. Let's hope so. Can start with the I two didn't bolts. put the owlbear into the freaking combat tracker. You're not going now, I'm sorry, Aurora. I figured that might be the case, too. I'm sorry. What, did he get a perfect 10 or something? Uh, he got an 11. <laughs> Actually, Oops. I'm sorry. The goblins go next because they got twelve. They oh, got eight. Oh, the two they goblins that are afraid eight. of the. It is you, not the rest of us, though. They, they can't do through. anything because they They're can't. Stuck. They're not going to run away. They need to stay where they are so that they can fight the thing that's in front of them. They, but they can't, and they're too afraid of me to they're attack. They're too afraid you. to attack you. So they, they, they can they attack. They just. By the way, they can attack, they just have disadvantage on the attack roll. I get, uh, yeah, I said that, it's just... Joe didn't take it. Here. That's probably gonna, That's gonna miss. miss. That misses. Here Even with my low one. AC. Still sure misses. Gonna miss. All right, Still misses, so, thank Christ. You know, wish, wish, and they piss themselves and run away. And they just like, ah, they like try to swing, like... I mean, like it's a goblin. It. It's a goblin. It's not a freaking god. All right, so now it's the owlbear. I have 11 AC. I, it doesn't take a god to hit me. He's going to continue with his rage. And just eat through four of them. Uh, you only have 11 AC? Oh, you're a warlock. Never mind. Yeah. 
Wait, are you not wearing armor? I have only fucking the cheapest fucking leather piece of shit. Uh, that you don't have a dex bonus. Yeah. I'm gonna let you guys see the damage. Who's owl getting hit? That... Oh, the uh, owl bear is hitting bandits. And now he'll do just smack him off. <laughs> Wilhelm scream. Guys, what is wrong with me? What? I got another fucking natural one. Yeah. Like, dude, what is just wrong with me? The other way, isn't it? All right, now it's your turn, Aurora. If you know. I'll charge up to here, and am I still raging, by the way? Yes. Okay. And I'm going to beat things in the face with a hammer. Do it. Do you have an aura that would help me? No, oh, boy. Beat off with a hammer. I'm guessing it doesn't hit. No. How about this one? Red axe? No. Jesus. Nobody hits anything wow, today. guys. Jesus. Does that hit? No. Ugh. Hey, well, I'm done. <laughs> all right, now it's Bandit's turn, and they're gonna. I'm all going to die. Up. Three attacks. All right, let's go. Four attacks, please. Four? Oh, does one of them have range? No, I think they're attacking me. Oh. It's nice knowing you. Five attacks Four. then. Jesus Christ! What? One, one, nineteen, eighteen. He can't roll anything but the extremes. Like, what is going on? He, um, oh, what the heck was that? It shake. He has shake syndrome. This is so yes, weird. Alright, well, two of those take you. Steve so. knows. Steve knows the reference. Do oh, shank, yeah. Shake syndrome. Shank syndrome. <laughs> that is the official name of this now. It is shake syndrome. He only takes five total damage. No, no, total of nine. Okay. Plus two. Uh, he's aging, so he's resistant to. That is not towards Aurora. That oh. is towards Nick. Okay. So nine damage. Wait, did the three attacking Aurora whiff? Four. <laughs> there was four attacking me. Four. Oh, there were four attacking you. Only one is going to attack Aurora. Yes. Got it. Actually, not really. He's going to be attacking the bear. Oh, it's yeah. A bigger threat. Is he? Oh yeah, he is. I guess. The... Aurora just missed. <laughs> Aurora just missed like all the time. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, I guess Aurora kind of has a threat value of zero right now. The bear literally just crushed the guy's throat and threw him off the side of the wall. Into the inner space too. <laughs> all right. So, uh, does a sixteen hit you, Aurora? No. Alright, we good then. We Gucci. <laughs> I'm at least glad he's whiffing on a bunch of them at least. And the Poor other two guy. cannot hit them. Everybody's Everybody's just fucking blind as shit right All now. Alright. <laughs> it's it's night time! <laughs> whiff, 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 whiff. So, whiff. Joe, I have wait, a crazy... Wait, 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 wait. Joe, Joe, the problem here. Did I land on the freaking goblin that was holding a torch? No. Who was holding a torch then? Uh, the the uh, bandit in the back. Oh man, I just said that would make sense. So, no, I have a crazy, a crazy idea here. Okay. Uh, so I use fifteen feet of movement to get up next to Aromi. Oh, 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 shit! I forgot a bandit. Oh. Uh, he is gonna come up the ladder, and see Aromi there, and not be able to get back up all the way to the ladder. He can't. And he's just gonna start climbing awesome. back down. He's gonna be like. Push down this the ladder. Is awkward. Push over the ladder. So, so push it. Push it. I mean, I I had two I had two ideas going. I do I do have to make an attack aroma, but it's at disadvantage because he's on the ladder, so he's doing this. Oh right, okay, go for it. <laughs> Let me guess. One, two, three, seventeen, eighteen, or uh eighteen, nineteen, or twenty. I mean it was a disadvantage, so it was a three, but Probably, it probably dropped like a seventeen. It dropped a four. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Uh, so he whiffs. Whiff. 
All right. So for my turn, I run up next to a Romy, and I I have a, a a crazy stupid idea. You push a Romy off the wall. No. Even dumber. Can I tackle this mofo? Oh. Oh. Okay. You gonna tackle him thirty feet down? To the yes. Ground? Fifty. I 50 want to. Feet down to the... I want to tackle him all the way to the ground. But I want to land on him so he takes the brunt of the damage. Okay, so you're basically going to surf him midair. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and take half damage at least. All right. Do I have cure so... wounds? Here's the thing: for every ten feet you fall, it's d6 d6 of damage. Yes. So it'd be five d6. That's five d6. Yeah. This is halved because you're landing on a dude. I'm just gonna say this: he's probably dead. <laughs> he's more than dead. likely dead. <laughs> <laughs> Blood everywhere. He's dead. But you take eight damage. Okay. That worked <laughs> out a lot better than I thought it would. <laughs> Could I have witnessed this from my distance? You, bas you basically... No, you can't. You're like 800 feet away, and it's in pitch darkness. You can't see. Fucking dark vision doesn't work that far. No, no. it doesn't. But, yeah. It would have been funny. Like, someone tells me this, and like, Anna, what the fuck? Yeah. But, uh, basically what you do is you tackle the guy off the ladder. The ladder, the ladder falls with you guys, and he slams on the ground, snapping his neck, and you basically for, just brush his head into the ground. For flavor, could I have gone shield first so that it's... Basically, he hits, and then I hit into him with a shield. <laughs> And basically break his entire rib cage into his body. Yes. Yeah, sir. where I turn his, <laughs> all of his ribs into spears and daggers into his lungs and heart. Yeah, he's dead. Ooh, too graphic. Too graphic. Yeah. It's great. Gore. I'm the peaceful paladin, guys. <laughs> uh, I whip people because it's funny, paladin. Dude, I'm a funny paladin. This was. I, I thought this was the best way to use my turn because. I don't have to worry about hurting anyone but me and this guy. I mean, fair. All right, so uh, next, Varen. It's somehow <laughs> that worked. <laughs> There's still a bunch of dudes over here. Okay. Okay. I can't cast flame spear on the fuckers. Actually, no, I can. This one has like a weird radius. Flaming Sphere it takes up a five foot, uh, a five foot space, and anything at least into it takes damage. I can I can it float in the air or does it roll on the ground? Uh, it hovers above the ground. Actually, let me look at the spell real quick. How high off the ground? Uh, it would be basically just not touching the ground. It would be I'm like a couple. Space of choice within range. Yeah. Okay. So technically, it could be in I the air. I can hover above them. It can be in the air. It's a five foot cube and a five foot cube of death. So. Well. What are you doing, Nick? Flaming sphere. Remember oh, this? Fine. My goblin used it. Oh, I know. I know how flaming sphere works. Yeah, a five foot diameter sphere of fire appears in an unoccupied space of your choice within range of 60 feet. So, so I'll put it right above then. I was going to say, if, if you're willing to take some damage, you can do it to six. You could get the goblins. Resistant. You could get the goblins. I mean, you're not resistant. Yeah, but I can heal myself over time anyway. The thing is, they're afraid. The goblins are afraid of me anyway, so they won't be able to do shit to me. Yeah, that's true. They have disadvantage on all attacks and ability checks right now. And now they're gonna take fire damage if they try to run that way. And the other way has an owl bear. Which and a barbarian. Which way go, guys? Off the wall. That's probably what uh, I would do in that situation. Okay. I'm my just... chances with the wall. So they have to make a dex DC of 15 or take full damage. Okay. Which would be seven. A six and a one. Min max. So are, so are you damaging yourself or just them? No, just them because the goblins okay. can't do sh 
Gotcha. Much to me. <laughs> Uh, did they save? I'm I am a wizard. I am a wizard. Two. <laughs> what is so with two, you? So the top row didn't take I, uh, as yeah. much damage. The second row took the most yeah. damage. Yeah. I do, I don't know what is going on today. So uh, I'm also going to use my bonus action to swing my long sword. Okay. Don't you have to make the attack action to do that? Or do you have a thing? Yeah, it's in his offhand. No, no. Oh, yeah. Two no, weapon fighting right. only works when you make an attack, when you take yeah, the attack right. action with a light weapon in your main hand. You're right. Hmm. Unless you have something that says you can do this on any at any time, you have to take the attack action with a light melee weapon in order to get a offhand attack. Unless Joe wants to do a, ho a home rule. A house well, rule. my blade is just made of fucking magic, really. It is literally just magic. All I'm saying is that unless unless Joe is doing something funky with the rules, that's how two-weapon fighting works. It's complicated and stupid. So we uh, defer to Joe. You are deferring to me. And I say, fuck it. I'll so take yes, I can do that. Yes, you can do that. Okay. I was about to say, I guess okay. that means make the attack. 19 plus 5. Okay, <laughs> that would hit. Well, not the plus 5, because it's offhand. No, so no, no, no. You get you way, get your skill to the attack roll. You don't is get it, it the... to the damage unless okay. it's negative. Which D8. I assume it Let's is. Let's see what I get. That's a 6. That's good enough. You're attacking I'm, one of the goblins? I'm taking... No, I'm attacking the freaking guy with the silver helmet right there. You guy directly okay. ahead, uh, on top of him. So Love that's... Me. 13 damage? Okay. Cool. Okay, turn end. Go. <laughs> Nastro. There's nothing for you to murder. It's definitely noticeable that there's a giant flaming sphere just over there. <laughs> there is now a giant flaming sphere over on the opposite side. And the last thing you saw there. was Anna decide to go tackle a man off the top of a wall. <laughs> at the end of that, could I have at least yelled up, I'm okay? Yeah, you could have. That's a free action. <laughs> I'm okay! He's not! He is very dead! Nestor's just hanging off the wall. <laughs> yeah. What do you want to do? More, but, uh... He didn't even see this what happened. <laughs> he probably so... was peeking over. He probably peeked over. Oh, he sees Anna just fly off. He's like, what the fuck did she do? So in, in the midst of all that, I decided to come back up because I don't know what the hell is going on. And I come over here to see what the hell. And I don't know. I see a bunch of dead bodies and Anna cr on, a t on top of a crushed body. Very and frozen answer. goblins. And frozen goblins like, oh, that takes care of that. What's next? <laughs> He's like, okay, let's just go. <laughs> I'm not dealing with this weird shit anymore. Uh, can we? I don't even. Yeah, we can't help the other guys because they're farther off. They're really yeah. far. By the time we get over there, it's gonna be over one way or another. So mm -hmm. our next move should be vanishing back into the shadows because we are stealth team. Who? We should probably help Anna fucking get back up here. This There's ladder. ladder down there. There's a uh, ladder. It's oh. knocked over, knocked but over, she can but get up. It's knocked over, but you can set that back up. Also, there are stairs further down. Do we know if uh, any more are coming our way? I think we just took out the ones that were coming our way. You did. <laughs> Alright, so you I guess... took out both groups on this side. So we should head towards the uh, the big building then, I guess. Or at least somewhere we can... <laughs> Don't forget the patrols that don't have torches that's uh, on the ground level. Then we, I thought we just took care of the guy that's on the ground level. One well, of them, but one. there's more than one. We had one group. Alright, so which way is the, to, to the next one on the ground? Great question. Roll a perception check. Perception check indeed. That's... I'm blind. <laughs> I mean... They don't have torches, so it's harder to see. You're not necessarily blind. It's nighttime, and but, they yeah. don't have torches. 
but I have dark vision apparently. And then only out to sixty that feet. Works sixty feet. All right. Well. And I got him. That should have been a disadvantage. It so didn't work anyway. Either way. It would be. He lost matter. anyway. He even got lower anyway. Well, right. I guess all I gotta do is wait and see what happens now. Yep. Well, you're he... not seeing much. <laughs> There's a whole lot of blackness. So they should just skip their turn until like. Uh, yeah, our stuff. side can our side can skip our turns because we don't have much we can do over here. Yeah. So go deal with the other side. In that case, we're just gonna skip all the way over to. It would be the Goblin goblins. Turn? It's goblins, like... owl bears, goblins, owl bear, aurora bandits. Yeah. So see no, we... this situation. Yeah. This goblin is actually just going to jump off. <laughs> he just sees a giant flaming spear, owl bear between us. He's like, he's afraid of. Nope. Me. Nope. He's like, nope. Nope. <laughs> All right. So let's see if he dies. That's what five d six damage to a goblin. No. What's going on? I'm rolling. This oh, is... he's making nope. a check. Nope. To... I'm making a check to see whether or not he face plants. Does he? He face planted. Awesome. He broke his neck immediately. Like, I don't even have to roll, because the minimum damage is his health total. <laughs> he landed head first. <laughs> he literally just went, Wee! I'm what dead! About the, what about the one under me? Uh, he, he's under you. But now he has room to move, so he's going to move five feet away from you. There you go. And then he um, can either follow his friend over the wall, sit pretty and do nothing, move through his fence and probably take fire damage, move through his move fence and fight a bear. bear. <laughs> uh oh. What do you want? Okay, roll? so I am in actual shock right now. Did they make saves? I got a natural 20 and then I got a natural 1. He doesn't hit. He doesn't hit, no. He's <laughs> disadvantage, but... Wow. Joe, what is with you today? Shank syndrome. Know. Shank syndrome. It's when you can't <laughs> roll in between the extremes. Jesus Christ. Seriously, okay. Right. So, question is, is he going to jump off now that he missed twice? He still has movement. He does have movement. Technically, the one that jumped off should have taken an attack of opportunity. Unless he disengaged. I want to roll inside. He's gonna jump off the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, does Varian get an attack of opportunity? Uh, no, because it doesn't matter. Uh, he jumped off a 50 foot wall. I'm not gonna fucking waste my reaction to that. Fair. What, what is going on right now? What'd you get? I got another natural one! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! He somehow lands on the chest of his friend and snaps his neck. <laughs> <laughs> no, he lands the right. He just lands like he a board in the ground. <laughs> I, I need to find that gift of freaking uh, out. Wait, wait, wait. No, is there like a, a rock that is perfectly shaped for his face? <laughs> no, there's an indent in the ground perfectly in the shape of his face, as if this has been done a hundred times before. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And now there's some blood in it. And maybe All a bit right, of brain we, matter. Is it my turn now? Yes, it is. All right, I'm getting tired of this bullshit. Wait, this thing. isn't it the owl bear first? Oh yeah, it was owl bear first. Let's see some more extreme rolling. <gasps> Guys, I rolled a weird number. I've what? never seen this number before. Thirteen. Wow, he <laughs> rolled in the middle. He's a covering. I got a 12! It's... Everything is normalizing First again. Hits, but the second one does not, so... Damage... A bloop. Well, that's not gonna do enough. I found the perfect thing for this. By also, the way, for the goblins. Can I just say this? Look at my roll for damage. One, one for one. Four, one. <laughs> Like, oh, so, hey, look at He's not completely over his shank syndrome. 
It's still it's still there. It's still there. He's recovering, <laughs> but it's it it's got lingering effects. Oh my god, Joe. I don't know. I, I really don't. Welcome to being Shank. <laughs> <laughs> Look at General. Hold on, it's the loading in for me because I swapped over. <laughs> <laughs> That's the perfect height yep. for it, too. <laughs> yep. That is absolutely amazing. Because I don't show Discord, uh, viewers at home, aka us later, that's Laura Croft doing a faceplant onto a steel grater. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my god. Fun. Great times. Great times. <laughs> Alright. Oh so two god. goblins did that. Two yes. that. Back to back. Guys, why is everyone falling off the wall? <laughs> I <don't know. laughs> hey, I was I was hanging off of the wall trying to be sneaky. I didn't fall off. All right, Laura, <gasps> murder something, please. I'm Love doing reckless attack because I'm getting sick uh, of this crap. Do it. <laughs> God damn. Two natural twenties. Nope. Nope, but it's not the one! He dropped a nat one! <laughs> Joe, stop getting oh him shit, Central! One in 18! Alright, damage! Decently All right. done. For whatever, I don't even care. Okay, I'm just gonna one say of he's the guy. He's dead. Alright, oh, I didn't roll damage for a flaming. Oh, wait, they have to move. They have to they move. Have to move. It's right, at the end the of their turn that they oh, will. I forgot to roll with advantage, which they go after him. Thank God I had advantage. Not that it mattered. All right. Um, and the damage for the other one, minimum one. <laughs> oh yeah, with one. an axe. <laughs> you you take your axe <laughs> and you, you kind of scratch. The head. You you just kind of scratch his nose. Uh, well, that, that's it for that. He learns the hard yeah. way why you don't All pick right. your nose so with the battle axe. Turn. Uh, he's going to move... I think, it, is it at the start or the end of their turn? Oh, wait, I forgot to add my necrotic damage to that guy I hit. Which is four. Uh, to whom? The guy with the helmet, wherever I hit him. Okay, cool. Keep that in mind. Spinning guy! Uh, <clears throat> I'll keep that in mind. That's fine. Yeah. So he's gonna move here. He's gonna move here. He's gonna move here. And uh, so th so three of the people on the flame thing take damage, correct? Right? Yeah. Okay. So if one moves through the freaking okay. flame in the middle part, they do basically ram themselves it's... into. Yeah. If they move to the exact middle, then they. Oh no! Wait. No, it's, it's in the air. air. It's matter. in the air, so it's fine. It doesn't matter. Okay, ignore that. So only uh... two. Two end their turn, so they have to make dex saving throws. Okay, now I shall roll damage. I'll yeah. just do it on the open, because fuck it. Nine. Oh, Joe. I forgot I'm raging again, so it's another... It's three damage, not one. Cool. That one saves. Again! Wow. Weird rolls. Either way, though. Um... <laughs> one takes three damage, and one takes six. Cool. <laughs> I'll say this one failed. So that means he's up to 23. Okay. Uh, Freak out! Uh, yep. Damage time. Oh, God. Okay. And by that, I mean rolling dice to see if I hit something. I will say, technically, Varian is flanked by the guy in the silver hat. Uh, and yeah, yes. Unless you know they're not attacking with flanking, because they're just attacking. Well, I'm saying that if so he. So shockingly, I did not get any of my rolls in the extremes. Thirteen, twelve, fifteen, sixteen, fourteen, twelve. That's the base hits. That's the base hits without the bonuses. Okay. So three attacking me, three attacking. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, all of those hit so, me. So all the three that are attacking Aurora are 13, 12, and 14. Nah. Um, with advantage, though? 
They get advantage on me because they're reckless. That's a good point. Thank you. <laughs> Might not matter much, but... They're all that ones. <sighs> you shouldn't have fucking said that. <laughs> that 20? You 20? You're on the 20. I don't care. I resist it. <laughs> Unless it's psychic, I resist it. <laughs> Blitz. Oh my god, what is going on today? Is that a 1 or a 20? Another 20. Alright, I resist that too. I just rolled 3 not 20s in a row. What I resist it! I don't even what, care! What, what? What the hell? And it's at this point that he's announcing that he is using the critical system? Yes, I'm just, I'm rolling the critical system and you are now dead. You're gonna yeah, take 3 no. injuries now. They're all to the ribs. Yeah, this, yeah, hey Steve, remember when I say this fucking injury system is bullshit? Here's an evidence why. <laughs> Only if you have shank syndrome. Oh, okay, eight well, damage oh, total. Not too bad. Yeah, eight. Uh, no, 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 I have to add my bonuses to that, so... That would be... Isn't it plus two to all of them? Yes, plus two to all... No, not all of them. Plus two to two dice each. So, three times, so that's six. So no, I meant like for that. each uh, attacker. Well, yeah. And there's three attackers, so there there would be three bonuses, so six total. And then total 14. would be 22, so total damage would be 11. Woohoo! <laughs> and that's with natural 20s. Not 111, 11. Yes. Yeah, they're All right. still bad. I don't like this character right now. So the other three rolls were the... Uh, they all hit me. Yeah, I was going to say they all hit you. If they make it above uh, an 11. They did make it above an 11. I know. You take... <laughs> 11 damage. <laughs> so I got 20 oh, no. damage on no, me. No, no, no. Not 11. Not 11. I apologize. 13. So I got 22 damage. Yep. Alright. Uh, Back to the top of initiative! Yeah, well, top. Varian. Back to Varian, because we're too far I'm away. I'm going to cast Cure Wounds on myself. Probably a good idea. And uh, as a bonus action, I'm moving this sphere down to the floor, moving it down here, and then smacking it into this guy. After okay. Cure Wounds. So roll so, your Cure Wounds. Yeah, I'm trying to fucking... Yo! Alright, I'll five. be up in a bit. So let me just roll it with real dice. Eight! Seven! I got so, 20 health points back! Yay! <laughs> so, I already had two damage on me now. And now the damage for everybody in that circle! It's square! <laughs> Die! Uh, Including yourself. Okay. I have to roll a freaking deck save first. Which is my worst thing. Oh my god. <laughs> they, they all fail. Everybody fails. Uh... Everybody gets to burn together. <laughs> if I go down, I'm taking you with me! Six points of damage. <laughs> so, uh, Why am I rolling sixes and sevens? He's seven dead. Up? And he's dead. And I caused the necrotic damage on the guy north of me, so it's four plus damage. The silver mm -hmm. helmet, dude. Uh, every, every time I strike at something, not strike at something, at once per turn, I can use choose anybody that got uh, hit by my attacks to damage by level. Okay, cool. So since I'm level four, it's four damage of necrotic energy. Cool, cool, cool. cool. Wait, what? Is he still standing? And he's still standing. I am surprised. Just barely, though. He looks like he's starting to wobble. Look at so the... he sees this freaking guy just literally just pull a flaming sphere towards them, and it just has like skeletal wings, black energy coming out of his eyes, just staring uh, at him. Dope. <laughs> Scary as fuck, but dope. All right. Owlbear. He's gonna roll this bucket. Fucking. <laughs> what he 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 does. He has a what the hell? Uh, I don't 
know what is going on, guys. Hey, that's uh, not but, extreme. Uh, minus one of the d6s. It's only six. Eight. Oh, he has a plus two. Okay. That's strength. <laughs> Uh, I wonder what Aurora's freaking uh, thoughts is just seeing me just do this. I I just don't even care at this point. <laughs> Fair. Uh, Speaking of are, Aurora, it's your turn. These guys are too alive. I want them dead. Do something uh, about it. Are you aiming for the two guys in the flaming area? Um, I'm gonna be aiming for the guy that isn't first, and then I'll go from there. Reckless. That'll hit. Good. That's Nicely seven. done. So seven. Because rage. Okay. Uh, that's the guy on the guy that got damaged? That's the guy not... Uh, the guy that's not in the flaming sphere. The guy yeah. the owl bear just Good. Hit. Now they're going to switch the other just one. Did enough. This one's also reckless because I don't think I have a choice. Not that it mattered. <laughs> wow. It doesn't matter. Did it hit? Yeah. No, it doesn't hit. It, it bounces off his... Four steel. Six. Go. Uh, the guy directly in front of me, not the one adjacent to. Actually, no, go with the one adjacent to. Okay, never mind. He's dead? No, no. I was about to do something else, but it's fine. And bandit turn. Captain is going to take out his horn and toot twice. Seriously? Yes. Boy, are you kidding me, Joe? You guys are Team Notoriety. <laughs> well, it's working. Should make it easier for us. Yeah, actually, it should. He took two. He took the action, the bonus action to blow that horn. Is he going to stand there? Uh, yes, he's going to move. Uh, no, yes, he's going. To, yes, he's going to stay there. And about five seconds after his turn, you hear another very loud uh, horn off in the distance towards the keep and then you hear a very loud cocoon as the drawbridge uncloses. Opens, you mean. <laughs> That's what unclosing is. That That's is what unclosing is. Yes, that, that, that means... Okay, okay, Joe, you'll catch up on English class eventually. That's like no, reverse no, math. No. It's reverse math. That's called subscribe. I just, just out of curiosity, has I'm any just gonna help, die. has any of the other group made it back around, or were they not even caring? We're not. We're not moving back around to get up with you guys. We're disappearing because we're supposed to be team stealth. Ah. Remember that was the original plan, and then it got slightly awry, and now we're getting back to the original plan. Yeah. Okay. All of you mm -hmm. can see this at the uh, entrance to the keep. A large purple beam will shoot up from the drawbridge and you can see a s signal in the sky beam out in six different directions uh, four of the cardinal directions and one uh, directly up and one directly down um, almost in like a uh, diamond pattern and you'll hear a very loud screeching sound from the heavens oh fuck and you'll see a cloud of crows coming down from the skies. Crows? Crows. Like a swarm birds? of crows. As... Yes. Coming a directly... Crows. <laughs> one might say a murder of crows, haha. <laughs> uh, That's what they're called. Or not one. The entire swarm coming straight at the group with the, the owl bear. Oh, of course. Oh, so the guy now takes damage. You're standing in the fucking pit. Yeah, if he ends his turn there, then he <laughs> takes the... He needs a deck save. Cool. He passes. He passes, he takes half damage. Hey, at least starting to get better. He's uh <clears throat> he's dead. <laughs> he's just like so, yeah, uh, I did like, it. Yeah, I did it. Oh god <laughs> Alright the fire He just sitting in front of me and it was like I look back to the other two guys and just like look at them just like and point my sword at them. <laughs> Really stellar leadership over there. Nick, uh, I want to point something out. 
You stood in your own flaming sphere, and I jumped off a 50-foot wall. We both have 8 damage. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> well I mean, admittedly, that's after healing myself. I know. And now it is Varian's turn again. Okay. I'm going to not use my Bernie Spear to just mm -hmm. smack into freaking Aurora. Because that would just be annoying. So I'm just going to make it float up above me. Actually, how close is the Murder of Crows coming towards me? Us. Uh, extraordinarily quickly, like 400 feet per second. That's, that's... Uh, Which direction? Because I'm going to move the flaming sphere towards that. Uh, directly at the pile of bodies that you created. By Down! The way, and towards the... It's going to go burn all the fucking bodies then. <laughs> okay then. And would it do that? Uh, what would what do? Would the flaming sphere just freaking burn up all those bodies? They're down. I mean, it's, gonna, it's gonna take a while, but yeah. You can't actually get it down there because you can only move it up to 30 feet, and that's a 50 foot wall. Yeah, but if any of them just run into the fucking middle part, it activates. Oh, oh, I should mention that, like, they're not actually off the wall, they're on the wall. Oh. The bot, yeah. He, like, I, I've dragged them off for my own convenience. He's. Well, the okay. exception of the two that jumped off. <laughs> yeah, the goblins yeah, are actually down. Actually, yeah, the yeah, goblins are down there. Okay, then I burn all the fucking bodies in the north si side. I'm going to take an action and smack the guy that's bel Actually, no, I can move right here and take an advantage and hit this guy. Okay. Do it. So. Yeah, you don't even advantage. take advantage of opportunity. I won't. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You don't. You don't even get that because you're not outside of that guy's threat range. Nice. Yeah, that's a definite hit. <laughs> yeah, that'll hit. And damage. Turns out he has plot armor. Totally. He's he, he's dead, isn't he? Uh oh, yes, very. Again, he's not actually off the wall. I'm just taking it off my convenience. I'm moving forward here. And really, I was gonna move the freaking spear where I was gonna be standing. Just we'll say I just moved that out of the way so I could grab my guy. And <laughs> that was my bonus action, so I was like, I just finished my turn. 4K. Albert, go! <laughs> Albert, do something this time. Uh, Albert is going to lunge forward at the last guy, uh, pick him up with his uh, beak, and just throw him into your spear. <laughs> Into the fucking middle part too. Uh. So that'll be a bite attack. Through the fire and the flames we carry on. That'll be enough. Minus one d six. So. Not that it matters. Do six plus two, you said. Eight. He's dead. Yep. <laughs> Into he the flames. As he as he hits the fire. <laughs> he hit the middle part. Of course, he's going to incinerate immediately. Mm. Uh, it's at about this time that the murder of crows hits the wall at terminal velocity, and the wall cracks. Shit. I want both of you to make dexterity saving throws. Oh jeez. And the bear too. I'm gonna roll dice. <laughs> oh, come on. Dexterity saving throw. Sixteen. Does that make? <laughs> Uh, do you have danger sense? I probably. Do. Oh yeah, I do, don't I? You definitely saw this does one that, coming. Does that activate in rage? Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. So. Okay. Just make. Just. Make it me. is. It, 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 he it. has a passive advantage on dexterity saving throws against threats that he can see. Cool. And Which we he saw can that clearly see the giant glowing purple ass crow is coming straight at him. I like that number better. <laughs> I do too. Why don't you use so that one? I got a 16, one? got a 20. <laughs> What'd you get? I got a 16. I got a 20. Uh, unfortunately, Nick, you do not succeed as a crow slams into your chest, knocking you prone as you fall 50 feet through the rubble oh, and rubble lands on top of you. Oh, shit. You're, you're effectively taking double damage. God damn. It's but you're, you're landing on rubble, and rubble is landing on you. So like, double whatever I throw right now. Is it a full 50 feet, though, is the question here. It is a full 50 feet. You're on top of the wall, so yes. 
Yeah, but the rubble would not frick it would freaking be higher. Unless there's ten feet of rubble. Yeah. I wouldn't say there's ten feet of rubble. There's more like two or three feet. Yeah. Which doesn't constitute a negative on ten. So it's still five D six doubled. Yes. Doubled. Uh you're just taking it straight, uh Slim. Okay. So you take thirty points of damage. <gasps> and I take I'm... seven. <laughs> you do. The nice the nice the thing is that he's not at least very knocked, knocked out, but he's not instantly killed. Yeah. Could have gone worse. Well, they have to find my freaking body first. That's Fair. true. Like you I said, you're not under rubble. You're not instantly killed. Do did I um see where he landed, more or less? Uh you'd be pretty close to each other, yeah. Alright. So oh. I have an idea of where he's at. That I what wouldn't... kills people? Like, is it like double their he HP or something? Double it, their HP, or if you literally just being hit enough to go beyond your death save. Uh, uh yeah. If you if you get three you, you death saves, damage. if you fail three death saves for any reason, whether it's by taking an attack or by naturally failing them, or if you take enough damage to go not just to zero, but to your maximum HP below your zero. So in this case, you would need to go from Man, 8 health to negative 35 health in order to instantly Wait, die. Joe, would I have enough time in the air to freaking slap a healing hand on myself? Has he been taking damage beforehand? Uh, he had eight damage beforehand. Healing hands, I think, does his level in healing. So I would actually have. One he would have one left. hit point left. I would say yes, because at this point it's at the end of the combat. <laughs> now I just have to dig myself out. I assume we hear the wall oh, crumble. Yeah. It's like it's like a. Uh... A constant bombardment of artillery against the distant hill With birds. With birds Magic that birds. Make sounds. Which by the way, does that kill that kills all the birds, right? Oh the birds weren't real. Oh. They were okay. basically well, magical artillery. artillery. Stop blowing owls in my wall. The owl barrier escaped unscathed apparently. No he didn't. Uh, he didn't take enough damage, I take it. Good God, no! It's an owl bear. Yeah, it's an owl. <laughs> They're pretty hardy. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't seen the freaking amount of HP they have, so, yeah. and I don't know what is like. I, I have not seen the modified version of him since it, that potion mm. did some weird shit. So all you come, and so the rest of the party comes to this and just <laughs> freaking Aurora, just trying to dig Varian out. Uh. And I mean, how far away are the stairs? Uh, maybe a hundred feet. Screw it! I'll jump off instead. Cause it's <laughs> and I have advantage on strike Wait, saves. Wait, are you out. down? You're you just you fell though. Yeah. Oh, I did fall. You, oh, you're ready. Yeah. yeah, you fell and took the fifteen points oh, of damage. Well, never mind. Or seven because then yeah, really... I have advantage on strike saves. Well, no, wasn't he gonna take whatever. double? But because he's raging, he takes half, which basically no, makes it. He saved. Uh, so he took the the quote unquote half. half damage and then took another half because he raided. Right, okay. Nick took double that number. Got it. Just straight up. I get you now. So yeah, you only took seven damage from that. I need medical evacuation. <laughs> You're medivac, the medic! Medivac. Actually, uh, there's another medic who is what, a couple hundred feet away? I mean fair, but still you're you're not that close. I know You're I'm maybe not that like close. A minute and a half away? Nah. I mean, he's alive. In which time more patrols could show up? But we're also. Mm. However, the owlbear is actually going to uh, stand up from the rubble because there are more patrols coming this way, but they're, and they're not just patrols. So, uh. A battalion comes? Uh, not battalion, platoon. Platoon, yeah. Which is 50 people. Battalion is like a couple hundred. Yeah. Uh... So it is 8.30 at this point. 
Yes. And at this point, we're going to stop. Okay. Joe. Other channel. Okay. Wait, so, are we done? Yeah, we're done for the night. Yep. However, right. I want to so ask you guys one question. So, what would the on that? The answer is maybe. Uh, did you guys have fun tonight? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. That was fucking ridiculous. But fuck yeah. your rules. I don't know why I was rolling with that. It was so bad. Alright. Uh, the DC on that, I'm not going to give away, because that would ruin the, the mystery. However, it was high. It was more than 16. It was. Uh, but less man. than 20, apparently. 18. Which means it's a 17, 18, or 19. <laughs> mm. Ooh, what a mystery. I, I, I was going to say, it could also be 20, because he did get it. That's true. It That's could, true. It could be anywhere from 17 to 20. In either case... Anyways, to whispers. That was fun.